Sure to stay tuned for the post-game show after the game, followed by Sports Extra tonight at 11.30. See you later. The post-game show with Ed Kilgore, Sunday after the game, only on Bill's Channel 2. Temperature in the high 50s, a threat of rain, wind up to 23 miles an hour as Miami and Buffalo in the AFC East battle for first place. 80,000 strong, enthusiastically here to support the four-time champion Bills who trail Miami by one. New England only a game out of first place as well in the East. Hello, everyone. Dick Enberg with Bob Trumpy. It does have the feeling of a playoff contest. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And for Miami, if they lose today, it's a loss. But if Buffalo loses, there's a lot of baggage. This is a crossroad game for the Buffalo Bills. If they lose, they're three back, and people start talking about, well, they used to be a good team. They used to have good yeah. players. They don't want that. Well, Thurman Thomas, who returns to the lineup, indicated his emotion, his feeling about how important it was before the game, after the warm-ups. There's Thomas saying five. We're going for five Super Bowls, and then approach Ralph Wilson, the ready? owner. Are you ready? <laughs> and the 75-year-old owner of the Buffalo Bills said, yeah, he is ready. The Bills won the toss and will get the ball first. Russell Copeland, number 85, and Bucky Brooks, a rookie. Our deep as Pete Stoyanovich tees it up. He'll have, and Miami and Marino will have the wind at their backs in the first quarter. He skids one. Bucky Brooks. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. A 25-yard return. Here comes Jim Kelly and the Buffalo Bills. That reworked offensive line. The trouble spot for Buffalo with only Hull and Davis in the spots that they guarded in the Super Bowl in January. Kelly has Thomas returning. Carwell Gardner used sparingly. Beebe and Reed outside. Metzelaar is the tight end. Bill Brooks in the three wide. Hurry up offense. Thomas gets the call on first down and gains a couple out to the 30-yard line. A Miami defense has been bolstered by a big young rookie tackle, Tim Bowens, 315 pounds. Singleton, Cox, Smith, the backers, and that hurry up offense. And there's Brian Cox making his first defensive statement of this game. Dick, for the first time, Buffalo is facing Miami with Brian Cox as a middle linebacker. Because of injury, he's moved in there, but the coaching staff of the Miami Dolphins now thinking it's going to be tough for somebody to displace him from middle linebacker. He's playing that well. Loss of five. Dolphins took the bite on the call, and that's BD crunched by Michael Stewart, the former Ram, now playing strong safety. Now let's check the penalty. The yardage not good enough for the first down. Uh, you also saw Dick of Brian Cox moving up to the line of scrimmage, rushed the passer, and stepped in the neutral zone. The Bills will take the penalty. Offside, number 51, defense. Five-yard penalty, third down. Jerry, Mark Bright, the referee. Rare that a middle linebacker moves up to the line of scrimmage to rush the passer, but Cox is an outside linebacker, an excellent pass rusher. Third down and eight. Kelly gets away, and there's no one to throw it to except linemen, and there's no penalty. Yeah, he there's was no in, one there but two linemen. He was inside the tackles, too. He was inside the tackles. I'm surprised Mark Bright would not throw the the intentional grounding. That rule for quarterbacks to protect them applies outside the tackles. Good pressure from Jeff Cross. Miami runs a stunt right up the middle. Already you can see little or no time for Jim Kelly to throw. So Chris Moore in the punt. 
Deep to return, O.J. McDuffie returned two for touchdowns as a rookie a year ago. Beautiful kick into the win. Former Penn State star McDuffie at the 30. And wrapped up at the 35-yard line by middle linebacker Mark Maddox. A 45-yard punt. 10 on the return. Here comes Dan Marino. Little gimpy and says he is not 100% yet. He wears a brace on that Achilles. Webb and Sims all pro on the left side. Dellenbach, Widener grew up in this area. Heller have protected him well thus far. Byers a good receiver out of the backfield. First start for Bernie Parmalee from Ball State. Fryer and Ingram go, go. on the outside. Keith Jackson, the tight end. O.J. McDuffie comes in in the three wide. at the Buffalo 39-yard line. Bernie Parmalee, 27-yard gallop on the first Miami scrimmage play. Keith Byers, number 41, gets the key block on Daryl Talley right there. Parmalee, excellent timing. You also saw it looked like Buffalo ran a twist, a stunt. Sims went inside. The uh, linebacker, Patton, was outside. Well blocked by Miami for a big game. They mark it at the 38-yard line. Parmley starting ahead of Mark Higgs today. Parmley again. Tries the right side. Nothing there. Cornelius Bennett slows him down and wrapped up shy of the 35-yard line. Hanson right and the All-Pro Bruce Smith having, he said, as good a start of any season in the NFL for him. Bennett, Patton, Maddox, and Tally the backers with Washington and Smith at the corners. Henry Jones, Matt Darby, the safeties for Buffalo. Burris, the rookie from Notre Dame, and Kurt Schultz come in in the Buffalo dime. Richmond Webb against Bruce Smith. When they match up, that's as good as you'll ever see in any game. That's how it stands now. Two all throws underneath and wide open Jackson, the tight end, and he drags the, the tackler tally to a first down at the 23-yard line. Miami taking advantage of a defense here. The strong safety was up on the line of scrimmage. Jackson just releases right inside Daryl Telly. There's nobody there. Absolutely. And here's the matchup. 78 on 78. Talk to Bruce Smith about Richmond Webb. He said, I admire two things about the guy. He lives clean and he plays clean. Never cuts me, never chops me. Uses those incredibly long arms to ward off the defensive charge. First down Miami as they move deeper into Buffalo territory at the 23. It's Byers' first carry. They swing him wide. He doesn't make it to the line of scrimmage. Thomas Smith up from a corner to make the play. No gain. Dan Marino in his 12th season. He said, I didn't appreciate what I had until I had to sit on the sidelines last year and watch. And though Miami is the top scoring team in the NFL, they're averaging over four touchdowns a game. They've scored only three in the first quarter. And Dick, you, you have two of the strongest wills in the history of the game, Don Shula and Dan Marino on the same team. Carmelay sent out as a wing right. Fryer far right. Ingram to the left. Fires in the backfield. Underneath them complete. Well covered with Mark Ingram, Thomas Smith from North Carolina, second year. Number 28. A lot of what Miami does against Buffalo is determined by where that strong safety sits, number 20, Henry Jones. We saw the completion to uh, Keith Jackson. And there's Jones, the strong safety. At the line of scrimmage, they try to get inside, away from the line of scrimmage. They'll try to get the ball to the backs as best they can. This is a very, there's Walt Cord, the defensive coordinator. A very conservative defense run by Buffalo. Keith Jackson splits away on the right. O.J. McDuffie comes in. He slotted left from the gun, Dan Marino. And his arm was hit incomplete. He was looking for Irving Fryer. Phil Hansen, number 90, was in his face. Marino didn't even see him. When you see Marino shuffle up here, 90 is the guy who's going to knock the ball away, but he's down on the ground, or he's behind him, and he just grabs his elbow, knocks the ball right out of his hand. So Pete Stojanovic comes in for a field goal attempt. 
He's five for eight this year, was in the worst slump of his career. Missed three in a row prior to the game against Cincinnati. Made a couple last week. 40-yard attempt. Jim Arnold, the punter, former Lion, will set it up. Stoyanovich, Lenny a leg, and the Miami Dolphins with uh, four minutes and a second gone. Take a 3 nothing lead. controversial Brian Cox number 51 of the Dolphins Hannah Storm joins us uh, what's new there well uh, the Dolphins seem to be rallying around Cox and Dick he was the first player on the field prior to the game there weren't any incidents because there's a ton of security here not only at the tunnel where the players come out but I count about a dozen security guards behind the Dolphins bench alone now the Dolphins have been instructed to leave their helmets on and keep their heads down but so far they don't seem to be uh, following that advice because there haven't been any incidents a few verbal taunts for Brian Cox and so that he would not uh, speak to the uh, fans in response he had actually had a headband pulled up over his mouth and his chin strap over that till just before the game is sort of a gag dick all right hannah security so high there are two guys dressed like tubas over there in the <laughs> university of pittsburgh band it's going to be here at halftime <laughs> stoyanovich with a three nothing lead to the five bucky brooks brooks to the 25 to the 28 yard line about where he returned the opening kickoff sean hill a montana state rookie defensive back from miami with the tackle well, just as uh, this is a three-game contest, so is it, it is San Diego and Kansas City, the second half of our doubleheaders. They meet out at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego, a big game in Foxborough as well as the Raiders trying to get themselves a second win, and the Patriots tied for second here, and Denver, Seattle, another good one. Andre Reed twists away momentarily from J.B. Brown, and then out of bounds with a first down. A 12-yard gain to the 40. Not much to this pattern. Just taking advantage of Brown being off 8 or 10 yards. Just the hitch. Kelly uh, told us yesterday he's got to resort to the short stuff. Can't go with the 18 and 20-yard patterns anymore. Reed again leading Buffalo in catches. That was his 28. This is Thurman Munson. So good out of the backfield. Tries to stop and cut back Thurman Thomas. Tries to stop and get back away from Klingbile, but loses his footing, and Brian Cox is there to secure the tackle. I think that's one of the things we saw Buffalo do last week against the Chicago Bears. That little screen that they throw to Thurman Thomas, just get him a little room. Hopefully he breaks the tackle. Davis could not last week. Thomas again. And hit in the backfield by the rookie Tim Bowens. Big bow from Oklahoma, Mississippi. He's a 317-pounder that uh, Joe Green just loves. Start when they brought him to spring camp, he was 330. And Shula said, he's listed at 317. He's really about 310. All this kid ever wanted to do was play professional football. That or be a professional wrestler. Third down. 
Kelly, a long throw, incomplete to Beebe at the 45. And the Bills will have to give it up on the punt. J.B. Brown was there to cover. Thurman Thomas, as he comes off with Jim Kelly, has three carries and a minus six yards. On to kick Chris Moore. O.J. McDuffie drifting back to the Miami 20. Into the win, Moore, one of the better punters in the league. He's averaging 41 and a half on the season. This one off the side of his foot. So it takes a good a roll. Oh, a dangerous play by McDuffie. And the ball still free and picked up. It's a live ball. Nope, they say he was down by contact. Down by contact. Tyrone Braxton, the defensive back, picked it up. And it was tackled back at the 11, but they're saying that McDuffie was down and had control when touched by a Bills tackler at about the 22-yard line. And with that, we have a timeout. Nine and a half minutes remaining in the opening quarter. America, we understand the problems people face today and make it a point to offer solutions. When a taste you can turn back, trying to bring those doubles back, double sack, back you pack. You got to like that. Take the space out of Big Bang's gonna look so big. That's the drag, and they got pieces all those greases. Bring those gum for whole chips you bet. on NBC is brought to you by Chevrolet Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. By Compaq, look for the new Presario computers for that small business you call home. By McDonald's, what you want is what you get at McDonald's today. And by Transamerica, the people in the pyramid are working for you. The Peace Bridge that leads from uh, Western New York to Ontario, Canada, Fort Erie. Nothing peaceful about this matchup. This is a rivalry. These two teams do not like each other. Three nothing Miami. They start from the 23. Byers in motion. Marino skips it to Byers incomplete. Marino had to hurry. Cornelius Bennett had the pressure. The biscuit earned that. Uh, we all know from meetings. A lot of biscuits and syrup as a kid, and we ask him, he loves to cook and loves to be in the kitchen. Do you eat biscuits and syrup anymore? And rolled his eyes. <laughs> He's become much more sophisticated. Yeah, that's homemade wine, grapes, cornbread. Cajun cook. Second and ten for Marino. Flips that one complete to the tight end Jackson out to the 38 of first down. Pick up a 15, Mark Maddox. Henry Jones collaborate on the stop. And with uh, Bruce Smith right on Dan Marino's chest. Marino still has that arm strength. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five step drop. Uh, Smith just powers inside Richmond Webb on the inside move. But that good, strong arm strength. Looks like uh, Webb was expecting help from Sims on the inside. Jackson, the tight end, with his second catch and another Miami first down. Mark Hicks, first carry. He finds some room, and he's all the way to the 50. A gain of 12 more. First down, Miami. Thomas Smith, one of the last blue jerseys to make the stop. He can't uh, seem to get the respect of the head coach. Twice in his career with the Miami Dolphins, he's been close to 1,000 yards, over 900 
But Higgy's problem, man, he's not a particularly good receiver. There's a 91 and 92. Led the he, uh, Dolphins all three years in rushing. He's not a particularly good receiver. And Shula wants okay, that running it. back to not only carry the ball, but also be a receiver. Good protection for Marino. And he tried to find Fryer. Very difficult with the wind here in Buffalo to throw the deep passes along the sidelines. The wind raises havoc with it. Uh, you, you can see the flags. That's above the stadium. Let's watch the pass rush of Bruce Smith. This time it's Sims with help from Keith Byers. Webb goes outside on 56, Daryl Talley. A lot of combinations used against Bruce Smith. He does attract blockers. His a lot of them. Mike Lotus was telling me, he said, yeah, he's got ball bearings on his hips. He can do things at full speed, turning going one way, and all of a sudden he's the other way. One half of his body at the quarterback, the other running against the uh, blocker. Second down, a man open, Ingram, incomplete on a beautiful play, defensively, made by Nicky Washington. It appeared he was beaten, was able to get a hand in and knock it away. But I'm not sure Washington made any contact. I think that bounced off of Ingram's shoulder. Ingram advertises to Washington, I want the ball. Yeah, that just bounced right off his shoulder. Good eyes, Bob Trumpy. And then on the ricochet, Washington made sure there was no chance. Yeah, but again, Dick, that's probably the win. Unless you can throw the ball with great revolutions, it'll wiggle like a knuckleball. And that's probably what happened to Ingram. Third and ten. The incomplete behind Fryer. And Miami will have to punt. Boy, this crowd is in it. I think they realize the situation the Buffalo Bills are in. The conversation has already started here in Buffalo about, you know, we've had a good run here. We can't expect too much from these fellas. And last week's loss, uh, you know, that, that crowd is kind of growing a little bit, Dick. Jim Arnold, who's uh, only 26th in the league, the punt it to Jeff Burris, the exciting rookie kick returner from Notre Dame. He's going to let that one go. And the wind carries that well through the end zone. It'll be Buffalo at the 20 when we return. It'll be first and 10 for the Bills at their... If you could listen to what people really want and design a car around that. If you could give them the comfort they want and the safety features they need. And build it to quality standards you've never met before. You'd have a pretty good car. But if you could do all this starting at $16,000, you'd have a genuine Chevrolet. Introducing the all-new 1995 Chevy Lumina. It starts with fresh-baked bread, juicy slices of mouth-watering steak, and the kicker, it's covered with A1 steak sauce, plus all the fresh fixings you like. Subway's new A1 steak and cheese. If you're not hungry yet, you better check your pulse. Today's engines need Castrol GGX, the motor oil that provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. Because if your oil breaks down, what's next? Castrol GTX, engineered for greater protection against breakdown. Maria's Trotteria. Hi, turn on the TV. We're on the news. This week, I visited Maria's Trotteria. Very creative pasta dishes. With speakerphone, fax, and television, the Compact Presario may be the perfect computer to keep track of what's going on inside and outside your business. A grilled salmon with pesto that is truly out of this world. $6.99. They could charge twice that, and it would still be a bargain. I couldn't agree more. Eight of the greatest names in golf shoot it out in a test to see who's best. The Skills Challenge. Coverage next Saturday and Sunday on NBC Sports. Four times AFC champions and much credit due to Jim Kelly, who now is just 173 yards away from passing Joe Ferguson as the all-time passing yardage quarterback in Buffalo history. But look at those numbers in the teens and uh, quarterback rating 24th. So with the Bills perhaps, perhaps stumbling, a lot of blame on Kelly, but you don't look no, there, huh? No, you got to look at what happened nine months ago in the Super Bowl. This is the starting lineup. Look at the changes today. Three players playing different positions. Two of them gone, one of them hurt. Two of them a tackle. So critical to that pass is protection. 
Good wide throw out to Andre Reed, and Reed bumped out of bounds rudely by Troy Benson. Fans thought uh, a little late. 11 yards, first down. Now, this is the first year that Andre Reed has played outside. Troy Benson, an excellent coverage man, but he's still coming back from that knee problem, Dick. He had the surgery. He called Michael Irvin. He called Anthony Miller in the offseason, and he tried to find out what they had to go through psychologically to get over the knee surgery. It helped him quite a bit. Buffalo's yard is coming, passing. There are minus six rushing thus far. Thurman Thomas had a hole, but Jeff Cross from his defensive left-hand position able to catch him on the heels. And Dick, it also looks like uh, Buffalo is slowing down a little bit here. Cross, one of the most improved players. He gets inside Kraft, one of the new offensive linemen, 66. Terry Kraft has got a lot of attention here in Buffalo. A lot of people are blaming him. But that, that offensive line is like a glove. You need all five of them working. Yeah, it, it is the ensemble, and they're out of tune this year. <laughs> Kelly to the tight end, Metzelar. And the former Wabash College star has a first down at the 42. Ten yards on the play. Michael Stewart, the tackler. <laughs> Kenneth Davis enters the game for the first time for Thurman Thomas. As you see the other early scores today, the Colts and the Rams early lead. And Atlanta. Here it's 3-0 Miami. Caught at the 50 and down at the 48, close to a first down. Gene Atkins. Acquired as an unrestricted free agent from the New Orleans Saints made the tackle. Watch 35, Carwell Gardner. Excellent block. It's a hit on Stewart. That forms the little alley for Kenneth Davis to break up underneath her. Don't know if there's anything wrong with Thurman Thomas, but it's pretty common for him to come out. He sits on the sideline for a play or two, gets his breath back. They mark it at the 49. A yard shy of the first down. Quickie to Reed. And Brown wrestles him out of bounds, but another Buffalo first down at the 42. The Dolphins are going with their nickel package. That means that an extra DB in and a linebacker out, and Buffalo taking good advantage of this particular personnel by Miami, throwing with the short stuff, going with the short stuff, and running the ball. There's the defensive coordinator, Tom Alabadotti, and the Bills are in a rare Tell me which way to go. And they're looking at Thurman Thomas's knee down on the Buffalo sidelines. First down at the 40, trailing 3 nothing. Davis. Pushed out after a gain of two, maybe three. Marco Coleman, number 90, spearheaded the Dolphin charge. And uh, Thomas, who was so fired up at the start of this game, testing that uh, knee in uh, the minus column running. It's his right knee that bothered him. He missed the entire week last week, practiced all week this week. It's not a twist, a ligament cartilage thing. It's a bruise. bruise he would yeah. jam that knee into the ground two games ago. Second and eight kill. Tipped in the air, intercepted. And Michael Stewart has his second Miami interception of the season. Intended for Metzelar. And for Kelly, although that was not his fault, his ninth pick against of the season. Looked to me like Metzelar's was, was open. But the ball seemed to eat him. Well, it was thrown behind him. It was Kelly's fault. Yeah, it was Kelly's fault. Brian Cox tips the ball in the air along with Metzelars. And then the tackle is finally made. Good pressure, too, by Marco Coleman up front. And Stewart with the interception. Miami ball. Out at the 39-yard line. Jim Kelly. That's the one statistic of them all that just eat away at the insides of a quarterback. Intercepted. There's cause for celebration. It's the opening of the latest ITT Sheraton Hotel. Sheraton is now the ultimate global hotel chain for business travelers with 420 hotels, inns, resorts, and all suites, and one high standard of service in over 60 countries. What does ITT bring to the party? 
One billion dollars worth of improved systems, services and renovations. ITT. It's no wonder that the new Chevy Blazer has such humongous cargo capacity. The hatch opening itself was designed around the dimensions of a washing machine carton. Of course, you might not always need all that space. But it's nice to know it's there. lost his memory, a wife who nursed him back to health, a marriage that will end unexpectedly. It's been a murder. Don't let anyone tell you how it ends. See for yourself. <gasps> the network premiere shattered NBC Tonight. Former Ram Michael Stewart with a second interception. That gives Miami 11 for the year. They had only 13 all last season. Well, Brian Cox and the Dolphin defense has done the job. Leading 3-0, Bernie Parmalee back in at running back for the Dolphins. 4-12 left in the opening quarter. It's Parmalee. Young man up to the, about the 44, almost a five-yard gain. Tally the tackler. Well, that was a big push by that offensive line there, the Miami Dolphins. Now watch the big bow that happens in this Buffalo defensive line. Excellent job. And before Parmalee has any contact, he's five yards down the field. They tackle him there. Again, behind the block of Keith Byers, and he twists to the 49. Jeff Wright in his uh, way, but Parmalee or, uh, has a first down. Yeah, Dick Shula and his offensive staff can't decide which running back they like more, Higgs or Parmalee. So they're doing it by a series. Higgs goes in one series, Parmalee the next. Out of the two, they're getting good rushing yardage. They're going to measure for the first down. Of course, Terry Kirby injured in the Minnesota game was off as their top runner at 220 yards, averaging 4.3 in three games. But he's lost for the season with that knee injury. First down, Dolphins. Yeah, and the value to, of Terry Kirby he had 75 catches last year. That, that's the perfect back for a Don Shula offense. The guy can run and also be a pass receiver. You don't have to make the substitution. So with the loss of Kirby, what does Don Shula do? He outbids the Dallas Cowboys for former University of Miami, Florida, All-America Cleveland Gary. Gary joined the team this week, not ready to play. So he's not in uniform today. He made the trip with the club. Marina and it's Irving Pryor inside the Buffalo 25 with his first catch. His 26th of the season, he leads the Dolphins. 26 yards on his 26th catch. Inside move on the cornerback. Irving told us yesterday he's working with the track coach down at Miami in the offseason, elongating his stride, among other things. Pryor, great star at Nebraska, troubled career at New England as their number one pick. The first pick of the 84 draft has really found a home in Miami. Parmalee. Parmalee, 23-yard line. Bernie Parmalee with the yardage. Meanwhile, Irving Fryer. Number 80 of the Miami Dolphins, certainly more than a number. Breyer, who preaches in the offseason, Baptist Missionary Church regularly. He's a talented musician, plays five different instruments. Uh, his athleticism, his musical knowledge, and his spirit uh, really livening up some Sunday mornings in South Florida. Mark Hicks darting to the 20-yard line. Uh, Gain of three. And Dick, that information about Irving Fryer being an ordained minister, he probably had 12 people faint in the Boston area. They'll be awake in a moment. What? That Irving Fryer is an ordained minister? Turn his life around. 
And does he like playing with Marino? He said in regard to Marino coming back from the injury that his quarterback is playing with a vengeance, and I am the beneficiary. Yes, absolutely. He has had some sensational games already this season, as his bar has. Third and five. Marino deflected. Marcus Patton or Phil Hansen were in the path. Uh, you see the look on Dan's face? Keith Jackson was open. Ah, he said, oh, man, if I could just get to watch the top of the screen just to the right. He's going to Keith Jackson. Looked like Hansen got his right hand up. Knocked the ball away. Another missed opportunity for Miami's offense. Reno three for ten passing, and on comes Stojanovic to try one from about the 27, a 37-yard attempt. He hit from 40 in this quarter. Wind at his back. Oh, he skids this one. Hooks it off to the left. Took a divot. Normally a very accurate kicker. May have been worried about his footing a little bit. Looked like his ankle rolled out slightly, but kickers tell me that when they hook it, they're, they're kicking it too hard. Watch his left plant foot. See if that kind of turns out a little bit when he puts it down. Oh, looks fine there. I think he just tried to hit it too hard. That's generally what the result of the hook is. They too much leg swing. So the final minute of the first quarter, Kelly takes over his 28. Throws the screen to Davis. And he's got some yardage. First down and more to the 40-yard line. Gene Atkins ran him out. That's nice, but Thurman Thomas is not in there. That's a nice pickup. Kenneth Davis with 12 yards on the play. Hannah? Well, Thurman Thomas' bruised right knee is bothering him. He has a sore spot on the inside of the knee, so they took him out of the game. They put some foam padding on the inside of that knee and rewrapped it. He is planning on going back in the game, Dick. Uh, really, uh, those bruises, they hurt. Especially on AstroTurf. They need Thurman Thomas here. But Davis trying the right side again. And picks up five yards. Gene Atkins in on the tackle as the first quarter comes to an end. Intense the play will be at Rich Stadium today. Miami the early lead, 3-0. Every company has an Edwina. The planner, the organizer, the one who tracks your packages. Only today, she's out sick. And you have to track them yourself. Luckily, she uses UPS. Just pop in our tracking software and you'll know when your package was delivered and who signed for it in seconds. Now, if only you could use it to find the bathroom key. Me, I think Virginia Hill. Marinara sauce. What's on top of Wendy's new chicken sandwich? My guess is ratatouille. It's guacamole. It better be big. Introducing Wendy's chicken bacon Swiss, a whole breast fillet, three strips of bacon Swiss, and a tiny sauce. All they had to do was ask. A few weeks ago, while doing some test shots with Debbie, I noticed something. Dandruff. So I told her about Head and Shoulders. Unlike regular shampoos, Head and Shoulders help stop flakes from even forming. You see the difference? Head and Shoulders turns dandruff problems into beautiful hair. When you're driving in the rain, water on the road can make you feel like you're riding on marbles. It gets under your tires and you can lose traction. So Goodyear created the award-winning AquaTread. Its deep groove aqua channel moves over a gallon of water away per second to help keep more tire in contact with the road for outstanding wet weather traction, especially in braking. The all-season AquaTread, only from Goodyear. We say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. Dick Emberg with Bob Trumpy and Hannah Storm. Welcome back to Buffalo with its ever-changing climate. We understand a cold belt is off in the near distance as the Miami Dolphins lead at 3-0 on a 40-yard Stojanovic field goal early. Now we go to the second quarter. Kenneth Davis out and Thurman Thomas back in. 
Thomas needs just 43 yards today to become the 17th man in history to hit 8,000. Only 16 have done it. He's a minus five yards so far. And it's Gardner, a surprise as they don't normally hand off to the big ball back from Louisville. He gets a yard. They go. But you can see what you can see what's happening here. Miami's now back to their base defense. Four man front, three linebackers, four defensive backs. And Buffalo is trying to take advantage of it. Here's Brian Cox, 51, middle linebacker, along with Beavers, the, the rookie. I'm telling you, you talk to George Hill, the, the linebacker coach, he said, I got a great dilemma. I'm not sure we have another linebacker that can play inside linebacker as well as Mr. Cox. That's George Hill, his his coach. He likes Brian Cox in there. He had other things to say about yes. him, his character, too. As Kelly throws to Reed on the run, and Reed out of bounds. First down at the 45 of the Miami Dolphins. Wait a minute, Dick, didn't we mention Andre Reed yesterday? You know, I said, you'd have a better chance if you went in motion. He said, yeah, I agree with you. Since he's the outside receiver, he hasn't gone in motion much. But very few defensive backs can keep up with Andre Reed after a pattern after motion. Nice, nice little call there by Buffalo to get Andre Reed loose. Four catches. He now has 31 for the season. One of the leaders again in the NFL. And to the 30. And to the 27-yard line before a core of Miami tacklers can push him back. Rick, this is another great sign for Buffalo fans. Andre Reed catching the ball on the run, not stopped. At the beginning of this season, they moved him outside, but now he's back inside in the position he played for so many years, and he catches the ball moving. Now, this is one of the great characteristics of this Buffalo offense in previous years. They had Frankie Smith as the extra defensive back Miami on him at the line of scrimmage. He eluded him quickly and open over the middle. Kelly is 8 for 11. One interception. Beatty this time. And that's close to another first down at about the 16. Well, you heard the audibles. One of the things about this hurry up offense is they built in so many things to it that they can look at a defense and change the play. And a very easy pickings there for Don Beebe. Just a little hitch again. Apparently that the offensive only meeting called by Jim Kelly picking the coaches out has helped a little bit. That was on Wednesday. He said I haven't done it often here in Buffalo but it needed uh, to be held. Things needed to be said. Thurman Thomas dives to the 10 on first down. Another sizable gain on first down. Nearly seven. Jeff Cross made the tackle. Thomas could taste touchdown. Yeah, when you got second and three, a lot of quarterbacks and head coaches look very smart. Vince Merrill, second tight end, is in. Number 87. Now, all week long, Jim Kelly talked about we're going to go with the hurry up. I, I've heard the huddle more than I've seen him in the last five years. Well, they've converted points all 14 trips in the red zone, but too many field goals, in uh, Kelly's opinion. Thomas into nothing but white jerseys. And a flag down as the rookie Bowens may have gotten a piece of the uh, face mask as he reached in late. Watch 95 here as he trails the play. Face mask, number 95 defense, five yard penalty, first down. Well, you called it, Dick. Although he got, looked like he got more of the ear hole than he did the face mask, but. What is the penalty for the ear hole? I, same as the face mask. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard that correctly. <laughs> Five-yard line first and goal as the Buffalo Bills threaten to take the lead. Trailing 3-0, 11 11.30 remaining in the first half. Five shots, or four shots from inside the five for Kelly and the Bills. Yard, maybe two. 
Oh, front wall of Miami Dolphins there to say hello. Backed up by Chris Singleton and Brian Cox. They're bigger and beefier, these Dolphins up front. Cross now at 281. Bowens 310 to 315. Klingbile weighs 300 now. And Coleman, the light front uh, four participant at 267. He's really a linebacker. And still very active. Big, but still good movement out of those big guys. Dodging, guarding, right to the goal line. Didn't quite get in. Michael Stewart and Atkins, the two safeties, coming up to support, deny the touchdown. But that was a vintage Thomas, wasn't it? Marty Schottenheimer told us a couple of years ago that even though he weighs just over 200, he plays like a 240-pound running back. He's able to keep his feet moving, bounces off players just like Emmett Smith does. And Stewart does save the touchdown. Remarkable running back when he's healthy. He is the center of this offense for Buffalo. Third and goal from the one-foot line. touchdown of the season and Buffalo has the lead. Steve Christie's drive for point. 72 yard drive in 11 plays. Buffalo 7, Miami 3. Introducing the all-new 1995 Eclipse from Mitsubishi. The new thinking in automobiles. Coach Reeves sends in the play. Marino flips it to the half. Green, big enough. He follows Barry Sanders into the hole. Practice long enough. Blows past Richard Dent. Hope hard enough. Pulls over Junior Seau. And maybe one day you can play with the NFL's best. Or just bet those guys they can't eat one Lay's potato chip and make them play with you. Okay, ready to play? Yeah. What are they doing here? They couldn't eat just one. Lay's, bet you can't eat just one. The water on the left is being heated by electricity. On the right, by gas. For the cost of heating this much water with electricity, we'd like to show you how much more you can get with gas. And if your neighborhood doesn't have natural gas, you can still heat for less than electricity with propane gas. So no matter where you live, why settle for the water on the left? When gas gives you all that hot water on the right? Gas. America's best energy value. Coming up next, Montana and the Chiefs face Seau and the Chargers. Hostetler and the Raiders collide with Bledsoe and the Patriots or regional action. Don't miss it. They're delighted in Buffalo. That was the longest touchdown drive in three games. There's the key block right here. Pete Metzelars, also Lacina, 68 on the pull. Excellent job of capturing the corner. Herman Thomas looks healthy there for the score. Well, that's a risky play. Yes, it is. On the one-foot line on third and goal. But Dick, this offensive line of Buffalo, we trashed them a little bit. They're playing a lot better in this first half. Seven to three as Christie to kick it off. O.J. McDuffie. Uh, Mike Williams, a wide receiver, are deep for the Dolphins. And Gus the win displaces the ball from the tee. 72 yards, three games, the longest touchdown drive for Buffalo. And it consumed nearly six minutes. Yeah, that, that is a long drive for the Bills. Very long, yes. Yeah. Thomas now has eight carries, six yards, and a touchdown. Well, <laughs> 
Tell you what, you could really uh, prove your average on a day like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're kicking here. Just give it a nudge, and you've got a 38-yard kick. <laughs> Jeff Burris will now come in and uh, tee it up for Christie. Yeah, the rookies always have to volunteer for this duty. Just another job I got here, Jeff Burris says. Well done. Near the goal line. Oh, Williams Hancock picks it up. Trying to get out of trouble, and he's down at the 14-yard line. Carwell Gardner. And also rookie Sam Rogers from Colorado, number 93. Uh, Williams, the only good thing out of that was he held on to the ball for Don Shula. Let's play Coca-Cola Monsters of the Gridiron. The challenger, Chris Weiss. His opponent, Emmett Lone Star Sheriff Smith of the Dallas Cowboys. Chris goes left. I wouldn't go that way. Uh -huh. The kid breaks right. You're mine. He goes up the middle. Touchdown! Me. Burn my kid. Uh -oh. Bring home specially marked Coca-Cola products. Collect monster trading cards and play Monsters of the Gridiron. You can win Super Bowl tickets or one of 8 million prizes. You're next. They really paid attention to the details. I just love the feeling of getting in and going. This year, three times as many people as last year have bought a Mitsubishi Galant. Now there's one more excellent reason. Our 24-month lease on the 1995 Galant. Just $1.99 a month with only $1,000 down. It was a lot of things. The quality. The security. And for a limited time, the 24-month Galant lease. From Mitsubishi. The new thinking in automobiles. Now, buy any McDonald's Extra Value meal, and for just 39 cents more, you can supersize it for more fries and more drink. Plus, you'll get a super ticket that could win you one of 200 trips for two to this year's Super Bowl in Miami. Just scratch your super ticket to reveal your number. Then take it to McDonald's to see if it's a winner. It could be worth a free trip for two to Super Bowl 29. Free Super Bowl tickets? Yeah, where's the sport in that? First in line for Super Size. A ticket freebie, fella. Hurry into McDonald's to see if you're a winner. Sergeant Super Ticket. Just to go into Miami, man. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Mitsubishi, the new thinking in automobiles. By Napa, we keep America running. By Starter, authentic apparel and headwear of the NFL. And by Coca-Cola Classic, the official soft drink of the NFL. Always a scream, always Coca-Cola. Well, they're used to winning here in Buffalo, and this crowd of 80,000 cheering the Bills as they have the four consecutive Super Bowl appearances. Marino starts deep in his own end against the wind. Bernie Parmalee, a yard or two. Phil Hansen and Jeff Wright, the tacklers. Dan Marino, no young bushy tell 11 years ago on this day when he started his first NFL game. That was a Great uh, appearance, 38-35, but he lost to the Bills, and Joe Ferguson, who had a career game, five touchdown passes and 419 yards. Well, uh, you had to remind him, now, didn't you? 11 years ago today, his first start against the same team. Out of heavy traffic, how did he get that ball through to the 26? Now, there's another test of his arm quickness and strength. He had to adjust his release point. He had to go over the top just to get it through the defense. And, you know, you talked to Danny about his uh, his ankle problem. He said, look, it's, it's bone spurs. It's not the Achilles tendon. That's fine. Still doesn't have the strength in his calf, but he's always had that quick release. Wham, that thing is away. Yeah. Hanson, 90 for the second time, trying to swat the ball away. They try to crush the pocket up against Dan Marino. There's the brace on his right ankle. Pryor, 12 yards on the catch. First down for Marino. Oh, it hit Jackson right in the face mask, it appeared. He hadn't turned quite soon enough. Yes. Marcus Patton forcing Marino on the blitz to release early. That's what happened. Patton on the blitz. 53 and Marino sees it coming and of course Jackson's supposed to read that but when he went by Patton Patton was not blitzing delayed blitz did its job for Buffalo there Mark gets Patton three uh, former UCLA Bruins on this Buffalo defense second and ten from the 27.
suspend a timeout. And this crowd is a factor. 8.29 left in the opening half. Bill 7, Dolphins 3. Hi, welcome to Subway. Subway isn't like those fancy New York steakhouses. No stuffy Mater D or jackets required. Great vest. Thanks. But we do have A1 steak sauce. It's on Subway's new A1 steak and cheese. Slices of tender, juicy steak topped with the great taste of A1. Plus all the fresh fixings you like. And at Subway, you don't get a big bill. You get change. Subway's new A1 steak and cheese. Appetites are required. Jackets aren't. Imagine video like you see in the movies. Graphics you want to reach out and touch. Numbers that fall into place instantly. If that's what you want from your PC, then there's one thing you'll want to have inside it. Because there's one thing that runs all your PC software best. The Intel Pentium Processor. They really paid attention to the details. I just love the feeling of getting in and going. This year, three times as many people as last year have bought a Mitsubishi Galant. Now there's one more excellent reason. Our 24-month lease on the 1995 Galant. Just $199 a month with only $1,000 down. It was a lot of things. The quality. The security. And for a limited time, the 24-month Galant lease from Mitsubishi. The new thinking in automobiles. Monday. The Fresh Prince testifies against a killer. Lucky it's five inches of glass between us. Boy, I might have to tear off it. Now, the only place he can hide <laughs> is a friendly little town called Deliverance. I hear you'd like to go dancing. All new Fresh Prince, NBC Monday. You think it's easy being an NFL referee, <laughs> dodging huge bodies, the danger, the risk? <laughs> nice going, Jerry. Second and ten for Marino. Wide open is Ingram, but he... Oh. Did he stay in bounds? What's the call? Now they say no. Bobby, he did a great job of catching that ball and at least making the effort to keep his feet down. And uh, both officials, neither one would call it, and Marino comes over to help appeal Ingram. Let's watch. He's got both feet in. He's got the ball. No, they're saying no. As he landed, the did, ball came right. free. He did didn't not. have control of it. They did. What a job here. Yes. Ballet. Beautifully done, but the it does come out. There was, there is a flag on the field, too, Dick. Back where Marino released the ball. Holding against Miami. Holding number 30. Offense. Penalty is declined. Third down. Ooh, that's interesting. They declined the penalty to bring up third and ten. Rather than uh, moving Marino really deep into his own end, Burris and Schultz, two extra defensive backs for Buffalo on third and long. Uh, oh, Jackson and Parmalee go out for Miami. An indication of you know, Keith Jackson not a part of this nickel package. Mike, it. Mike Williams and Mark Ingram to the left, Fryer and McDuffie to the right. McDuffie in motion. Good protection. Incomplete. Tended for McDuffie. No, I think that was intended for Ingram, and McDuffie got in the way. Bruce Smith was in the way of Marino. Yes, he that was. Was the fact. But it looks to me like Mark Ingram is the one who is the primary receiver, 82. And then McDuffie comes through. McDuffie wasn't deep enough to make the first down. Ingram was. So on comes Jim Arnold with Jeff Burris deep. Wobbly kick. Burris has a good chance to return from his 40. Gets five, gets seven. And Jim Kelly will set up near midfield, leading seven to three. Tuesday, Frazier and Niles delivers a baby, and Niles ends up wanting to become a dad. It's a hilarious special hour of Frazier at 9, 8 Central, right here on NBC. You know, Dick. I see you there with that same no, pose. I, Every I, night we say, you know, go to go to your uh, hotel room. You, I, I was going to ask you, I, I think we all suffer from a guy like Niles in our lives. <laughs> we all know a Niles. <laughs> and a father of Niles. 
Thomas and Gardner. And it's Thurman slipping and a loss at the 45-yard line as denying any outside was Chris Singleton, the former number one pick of the New England Patriots. He and Bill Parcells didn't agree on things. Uh, Parcells sent him uh, packing, and uh, he's now a starter for Miami. Kind of surprising. Singleton is one of those guys that's such an athlete. You find a place for him. Yeah, you have an argument with him now and then, but you, you keep him because just what he can do athletically. He was the eighth pick in the draft, one pick before Richmond Webb five years ago. Thomas again. Well, what blocking down field. He was uh, <laughs> slowed from a gallop to a canter and still made good yardage. Aubrey Beavers finally got a piece of him. Again, a First good job. A good job by the tight end and Kraft 66 just sealing the corner. And then Carwell Gardner. This is not a complicated play. It's just man on man blocking, lead by the fullback, Thomas around the corner. His biggest gain, 14 yards. Kelly using the huddle, wind in his back here in the second quarter. Kelly eludes the rush, the cross. Flag down. Kelly pushed out of bounds. And down he goes heavily at the 41. Kelly knocked out of bounds by Pumbaa. There was no one to throw the ball to at all. There's a flag on the play. The flag in the uh, fans here in Buffalo feel it's against Miami, but it could be a hold. Kent Hull of the center was uh, near the spot where the official tossed the yellow. That was a three-man pattern. And when Kelly rolled out, there really was nobody to throw it to whatsoever. We got two fouls on the play. We've got holding, 66, offense. Personal foul, late hit out of bounds, number 95, defense. Penalties offset, first down. Tim Bowen's a rookie with the late hit is the call. Jerry Crafts the tackle with the hold. Uh, the intention of the, the primary receiver, I think, on this play is Vince Morrow, the tight end. But right here, Kelly has nobody to throw it to. Well, there was contact out of bounds. It's cling by all the nose tackle and also the defensive tackle. And Bowen's out there. Bowen's knew he was late. He's going to raise his hands away like I didn't do it. First down. At the 42 of Miami. Kelly with the sun shining now suddenly here in uh, Western New York. And he's shy as uh, J.B. Brown was there closer than Andre Reed. Well, the, the one thing that I see in Buffalo's offense to this point, Dick, is that, that they've been able to run the ball enough that play action works. And that'll give Jim Kelly a little more room behind the linebackers in front of the defensive back. So they've got a little window here that they've established in the, in the first half. There's Jim Schaffner, the quarterback coach. Second and 10. Kelly, 9 for 13. That'll cost five. Play of game, offense, five-yard penalty. Rarely Second see down. that against Kelly and the yes. Bills because they're in that hurry-up offense, but they are huddling today, not using uh, that Kagan uh, rapid pace attack. Now, I, I think this is very smart when you have problems with the offensive line. Give them fewer exposures. I mean, just don't have three downs and out 20 times. Go up there and let them catch their breath. Think about what they have to do as they walk to the line of scrimmage. Russell Copeland is slotted left. Reed to the right, first and 15. Complete to Metzlars, and he's to the 37, and a flag down. It appeared to be a late hit on Kelly from uh, Frankie Smith, who came in uh, on a defensive back blitz from the right corner. Could be holding, but uh, certainly contact well after Kelly threw the ball. Tripping against Buffalo. Don't see that often. Not since Trumpy left. Tripping foul, <laughs> number 68, <laughs> offense. Ten yard penalty, second down. That was your, I know about you. That was your best block. No. Shame on you. Corbin Lacina gets caught. Shame on you. 
But when you are protecting the quarterback, you'll try anything. That's right. It's all allowed. <laughs> now that'll take it back into Bill's territory at the 44. Boy, borderline hit by Miami on the blitz. Overlook. They need to get all the way to the Miami 31 for a first down. Ball at the Buffalo 44. Kelly. 45, 40, and slides at the 37. And he slides very late, and so he takes a hit. Dick, Dean he, Atkins got him. He did a great job of avoiding that initial rusher back in the pocket. Watch when he pumps this ball, what it does to the defensive lineman that's right in his face. It's Jeff Cross, and then there's nobody left. Kelly's not going to be a substitute in the uh, NFL's fastest man. No. Feet first, you're supposed to leave that quarterback alone. Frankie, Frankie Smith, Smith yeah. took a real shot. Kelly has 18 yards rushing on the play. That's the total for Thurman Thomas in the first half. Third down and seven. To the sidelines and incomplete. And now a late flag. There's contact, I believe, against J.B. Brown of Miami. Andre Reed, the intended receiver. Well, Brown was right there. Pass interference, number 37, defense. First down, automatic, spot of the foul. J.B. Brown, here's the matchup right here, and J.B. Brown is right there. There's the chuck, that's allowed. Hands off. Well, uh, there's, there's contact, but there's contact by both. Reed uh, grabs him as well to twist him. See there, it, yeah. it both ways. Yeah. Yeah. But You're they right. catch the defensive back. This year, they're calling it on the defensive back. First down, Kelly. And Buffalo leading 7-3. Five minutes left in the half. Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas. by Aubrey Beavers, the second-round pick of the Dolphins this year out of Oklahoma. He does show good speed, doesn't he, at 233 pounds. Uh, how about a Don Shula defense that starts two rookies? I mean, if they weren't playing the cake on the Buffalo offense, Beavers would be one inside linebacker. Bowens would be a defensive tackle. And Shula, historically, he doesn't crown on rookies, but they got to prove a real point to him. And Tom Olivadotti likes both those kids. Beavers, a whale of an athlete. former Northern Michigan hockey player makes the stop. He's that nose tackle that cocks the position a la Joe Green. Yes. He uh, tries to take on the double teams to allow the rest of the defensive lineman to go one on one. Boy, again Buffalo eating time off the clock. There's Joe Green. Hall of Famer the ex Steeler great who uh, was highly uh, positive about the rookie Bones as well. He convinced Shula to Draft Bowens. Third and four. Kelly wide open at the tight end. Mets Lars again at the 1918. A first down. This is a zone by the Miami Dolphins. And Brian Cox, the middle linebacker. I mean, he hasn't played a lot of games in little my middle linebacker as a pro. Uh, he's got the inside. Doesn't have single coverage on Metzelars, but Pete, very good at finding that open spot. Nice completion. His second catch. Two tight ends for Kelly. Another first down, and Thomas on the pass. Oh, nice move to get some yardage out of the play. Kept working his way outside. Brown finally ran him out of bounds. Gain of a couple. And also a tip of the cap to uh, Stewart. Michael Stewart, he got up there from that free safety spot and kind of forced two blockers to take him so that the pursuit could get Thurman Thomas for little or no game. But it's not often the Buffalo Bills will have the posse possession time in their favor. Usually with their hurry up offense, the uh, opponent always has the ball more of. But I think uh, this first half will show that Buffalo has controlled the clock. This is another five minute drive. Thomas, little misdirection. He's inside the tent. 
and fumbled the ball apparently and it's Miami who recovers Chris Singleton when I see him do that in the Georgia Dome haunted by every fumble because it relates to Super Bowl tragedy trying for something extra ripped away by Gene Atkins and picked up by Chris Singleton the Buffalo Bills drive dies inside the 10 then you flip the hat you're late and you got the wrong hat sit in the corner Ooh, no respect at all. then you raise the hat hey this makes you alive wrong hat then you slam the hat then you spin the hat oh I need landing instructions wrong hat then you Get ready for the season with Ball Car Care Days at Napa, where you'll find quality Napa parts at low prices. Right now, Napa halogen headlights are as low as $4.99. Champion resistor spark plugs are only 69 cents after mail-in rebate, and assorted Napa car care products are just $1.29 each. So pull into your nearest Napa Auto Parts store soon for Fall Car Care Days. We keep America running. We keep America running. These days, it takes an extra special driver to maintain a top-notch driving record. But it does have its rewards. Because if you insure your car with Allstate and have an excellent driving record, you may qualify for a preferred driver discount of up to 15%. So, before you get too far down the road, whoa! Ask your Allstate agent if an Allstate preferred driver discount can save you money. You're in good hands with Allstate. If you missed today's NFL Live, you missed Miami's Brian Cox, once again the center of attention. You can't control Brian Cox with money. You have to find another vehicle to control me. Money is not some. I've been poor, you see. I think what Brian has to understand is he's got to let his playing do the talking. If he does that, he'll silence all those critics. Next Sunday, 12.30 Eastern. Buffalo leading 7-3, but so close to more. Thurman Thomas fumbles. Bernie Pomley getting a block on the outside. A nice piece of running and bumped out hard by Matt Darby, but a first down out across the 25-yard line. Well... Thurman Thomas, the fumble in the Super Bowl, and uh, it was almost as if he was a leper. No yeah. one came to him. In fact, uh, Marv Levy, the head coach, said if I had one thing to change about the Super Bowl, I would have consoled him. Well, there's Marv consoling Thurman Thomas. Knows how important he is to this offense. And tough lesson to learn, but he did put it on the ground, and Miami did recover it. 17 yards for Parmalee on first down. 2.15 left in the half. Finally, on the crowd, that might take it up to the two-minute timeout, and uh, Miami with two timeouts remaining. Hanson and Wright, the tacklers for Buffalo, and there's the two-minute warning, 7-3 Buffalo. Mitsubishi Motors presents Diamonds in the Rough. Originally a jet, this would-be receiver was grounded, running only reverses and returning punts. Now he's changed teams and fortunes. Who is this diamond in the rough? Introducing the all-new 1995 Eclipse from Mitsubishi. The new thinking in automobiles. Through the first quarter of the 1994 season, Terrence Mathis not only leads the NFL in receptions, but has already doubled his career total for TD catches. Terrence Mathis, a true diamond in the rough. Hey, America, you like tailgate parties? We know you like cheese. So why not throw a real cheese tailgate party? Look for the display at your local store and get great values on a variety of cheese. Real cheese for a tasty tailgate party. It starts with fresh-baked bread, juicy slices of mouth-watering steak, and the kicker, it's covered with A1 steak sauce, plus all the fresh fixings you like. Subway's new A1 steak and cheese. If you're not hungry yet, you better check your pulse. 
We're back in Buffalo, 7-3. to three. The Buffalo Bills and the fans here in this timeout are sure chewing on that last fumble by Thurman Thomas. And hey, we could have been up 14-3. to three. Yeah, you hate to pick on somebody. Fans do that. Broadcasters do that. They always assign somebody a, a job that mm -hmm. was not done right. But Thurman has to be back in this game. He's so much a part of the success of this offense. And, and frankly, I like the way Buffalo is playing offensively more deliberately, taking uh, their time, their offensive lineman getting a chance to Look who's across the field from them. And, and Dick, I, I think it's working and working very well if they hang on to the football. Meanwhile, Moreno has not had a very big first half. He's run the ball better than thrown it. Four for 14 for Moreno. 66 yards. Two minutes left in the half, and he's got two timeouts. A little uh, toss to Byers, and that didn't fool Buffalo, and a flag is down. Mark Maddox, the first to get to the ball carrier. And that will serve as a catch for Byers if it counts and give him a, a consecutive string catching the ball now that uh, runs up to 109 in a row. Illegal procedure, so he still needs a catch to keep that string alive. The only running back in history, NFL, to catch a pass in 100 consecutive, 108 in a row. Illegal formation out. foul. As Jerry Mark Wright uh, calls out the penalty, all the rest of the, they decline the penalty, so it does count. So you can give him his 109th game and all the rest of uh, wide receivers or tight ends. And Art Monk has extended his streak today, we understand as well. Third and seven. is Ingram and a first down at the 48. Mickey Washington makes the tackle and the Dolphins hurry up. 19 on the play. Well, that was a beautiful catch by Mark Ingram. There's the Chuck. Now watch his ball is thrown behind him. Very acrobatic to make the completion. Underrated receiver. He doesn't get much ink. Uh, Mark Ingram, the former Giant, dumps this one off. Flag down. Parmalee trying to get out of bounds and does successfully. Daryl Talley on his back. And now the penalty against Miami. San Francisco rallying from 14 nothing down at Detroit. Uh, Dick, whenever you do Miami. Holding number 65 offense. 10 yard penalty. First down. This is not a heavily penalized team, but knowing that Marino is their franchise. They will do anything. Grab hold. There's Dylan Bach, the center, just grabbing Jeff Wright, 91. They do not want people around Dan Marino. Jeff Wright returning to the Bills lineup last week in Chicago after being sidelined since uh, shoulder injury last season. but it's not going to count. There was a procedure, I believe, against uh, Miami. The whistle sounded. Ball start, number 73, offense. Prior to the snap, no play, five-yard penalty, first down. Veteran tackle Ron Heller on the right side. Uh, here's Heller right here. He's got Hanson in front of him. Begins to rock back a little bit, and that's what they call. And that takes a big gainer away from Fryer, and he takes a pretty good pop as well. Uh, not a team that normally is penalized much as Miami Dolphin football team. Now first and 25. For a first down, they have to get all the way to the Buffalo 42. They pick up the blitz. Fires wide open in the flat. And now knocked out at the 44. Cornelius Bennett over there. 11 yards on the play for Byers, who had 27 catches coming into this one, leading uh, the Miami Dolphins. Only 44 yards rushing. So just as uh, Shula likes a halfback that can run and catch, he likes a fullback that can block and catch. And Byers can definitely do that. Big hands, big feet, that low center of gravity. 
He's arguing that that was an offside because that last penalty and not uh, he didn't see the Ron Heller twitch. Yeah. Don Shula will bend the ear of many an official. Second down 14 for Marino and the crowd. What? Oh incomplete and Jackson somebody oh, hanging all over him and no penalty. Henry Jones on the coverage and Jackson can't believe it. Oh he had a hold of his jersey it looked like to me. Oh that was uh, that was brutal. <laughs> I think Keith Jackson has every right to complain here. Well, Henry Jones just to the left. Well, he kind of moves out of the frame. He's tackling him, grabbing him well before yeah. the ball got there. No question that he retarded the chance for Jackson but it's, to make the catch. It still looked like Jackson should have made the, the, the uh, he should have caught the ball. That would have been a first down. Jackson because he was angry and then went off the field of play came back on and a timeout is lost by Miami with 107 left. Coming up it's the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report with Greg Gumbel and Mike Ditka. They'll bring you up to date with all the scores and highlights from around the league and uh, we'll hear more from Super Joe, Joe Montana and the big game later on between the Chiefs and Chargers. That'll be uh, the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report coming up. And just as this game, one victory equals three games between Miami and Buffalo, so it is San Diego and Kansas City. That's a three-gamer. Yeah, Super Joe in San Diego. We saw him last year beat San Diego with that come from behind win. Keith Jackson, since he uh, was acquired, of course, those early numbers with the Eagles, 81. And uh, his catch is declining. And uh, there's more to that story. Yeah, that I, I think when you look at his numbers, starting with Miami, I mean, they're, they're not a team that throws the ball a great deal to uh, the tight end. They prefer to throw to the running back or to the, uh, to the wide receiver. So to blame Keith Jackson for his, his receptions being done, not right. Marino just looks the other way. It's more of a weak side passing game. The Miami runs. Third down and long. 14. Marino buys some time and hits an open target. First down, Mike Williams, only his fourth catch of the season. As the former Northeastern wide receiver found an opening. Look, you got Bruce Smith and Cornelius Bennett shoulder to shoulder. Marino just shuffles to the right, finds himself space, and makes the completion. Big first down, 43 seconds left in the half. Trailing 7 3. Marino. Oh, almost intercepted. Henry Jones was there in front of O.J. McDuffie. Some quarterbacks just have the sense of where that pressure comes from. You, you can't teach it, you can't coach it. It's like uh, they've got more than one set of eyes. Marino has that sense. You can avoid pressure just with a little That's shuffle choice. right or left and still make the completion. Well, he never was going to win any 100-meter sprints. No. And, but uh, he still has that good quickness. I mean, that shuffle. Quickness of arm, quickness of feet. Knowledge of the pocket. Second and ten. Into the win. Jeff Burris, the rookie, was the defender. Oh, that was great coverage by Burris. Great coverage. Just sticks his right hand up at the last moment and interferes with the catch. Mm. That is, and he almost makes the interception. They can't wait for this kid to grow up a little bit. Beautifully done by Jeff Burris. Third and ten. Miami trail seven to three. Thirty one seconds left in the half. Shovel toss to Byers. Fights for extra yardage and gets inside the 30 to the 29. That'll be a long field goal attempt for Stojanovic on fourth and five with the win in his face. 17 seconds remain as the Dolphins spend their final time out. Uh, Bruce Smith was almost there to, to catch this little shovel pass. 
gives us a chance to remind you tonight the discovery of an amazing fountain of youth. Yeah, <laughs> take a swig, folks. A powerful new sequest tonight at 8, 7 Central here on NBC. It's another big primetime night on the Peacock, so stay with us. And, of course, to follow this, uh, the first game of our NFL doubleheader, another battle for first place out at San Diego Stadium. That's like a college town for the NFL. Really they said, oh, they're ready. They're excited, In Charger huh? country is uh, Kansas City and Joe Montana come to town. You'll see, most of you will see that game to follow. Here's the big question. Does San Diego go back to their blue helmets with the white lightning bolts, or do they stay with the oh, white there's ones? A, there's a big uh, tidal wave of support for the old uniforms, but uh, one man not voting is Alex Spanis. He's, he kind of likes the ones he picked, the darker blue. Uh, he does write the checks there, doesn't he? <laughs> I have a feeling they'll uh, be in the darker blue. <laughs> Although this may be a throwback weekend. Well, on fourth and five, Marino and Miami feeling it's out of Stojanovic's range. We'll try a pass. Pete Pryor can't get it. There was a crease there for Pryor and Marino, and the winds may have betrayed Miami. Jeff Burris on the coverage again. It was Burris again, yes. They great confidence in Burris to stay with Fryer. Fryer separates. Seems to me like he's supposed to bend that pattern in a little bit. Marino, Marino's throwing to avoid the safety. And Fryer stays outside, can't make the completion. See the safety? Marino's trying to keep the ball away from him. Now that would have been about uh, a 47, 48 yard field goal attempt into the wind. And Shula figuring that adds it's too much to ask if Stojanovic gave Marino a shot at it. And Kelly will kneel it down. And so ends a tough defensive first half. Bills lead 7 3. Could have had more. Thurman Thomas fumble inside the 10. Very costly to Buffalo. Uh, Miami unable to convert as well as uh, they got their three-pointer on their very first possession of the game. It's 7-3 at halftime. For our halftime report, we go to Greg Gumbel in New York. This is the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. When it's got to be good, and it's got to be now, it's got to be, got to be Domino's. Welcome back to our studios here in New York. Greg Gumbel along with Mike Ditka. What the heck happened to the game we expected between Miami and the uh, Buffalo Bills at the 7-3 halftime lead in favor of the Bills as we take, a, take you through the scores and the highlights so far. And we'll begin with the game at Rich Stadium. There is the self-imposed gag order. Brian Cox on himself. On the Bills' first possession, Thurman Thomas stopped behind the line by Cox. That's a five-yard loss. Miami's Bernie Parmalee starting in place of injured Terry Kirby in the backfield cuts left goes 27 yards. This one set up a 40-yard field goal by Pete Stojanovic and the 3-0 Miami lead. Thomas missed a little action in the first half, his bruised right knee requiring some attention, but on third and goal, Thurman comes back to take it in from a yard out around the left side, 7-3 Buffalo. In the second quarter, Buffalo is driving again, second and eight from the 17. Thomas gets enough for the first down, but trying for the extra effort, loses the football. Chris Singleton recovers. Mark Levy says it's all right, we'll get him in the second half. Meanwhile, it is Buffalo 7 and Miami 3. 13 carries for 31 yards in the first half and one touchdown for Thurman Thomas. Now, Mike, we're talking about this game on that Buffalo touchdown drive. What did you see? Well, I, I think the main thing is when you're looking what Miami's trying to play man under coverage defense right there. And the key guy, of course, and, and this is number 83, and he does such a great job of coming inside. Watch what happens here. It's man under coverage along the bottom. He put a too deep coverage. Watch what happens now with Reed. Reed will take an outside release, spin under, they clear out the inside. He's wide open. And this, and this guy probably catches the ball over the middle as good as anybody else. He loves the football. He doesn't care if you catch, throw it to him inside, outside, upside down. This guy's a real football. And he's really been the main factor in the game. Really, Thomas hasn't done that much. And of course, the crucial fumble right before the end of the half really hurt him. A different football game from what we expected. It is a 7-3 Buffalo lead. In the Silver Dome in Pontiac, the Lions jumped off to a big lead. Back came the 49ers, and they are tied at halftime at 14. Barry Sanders has 65 yards and a touchdown so far for Detroit. Soldier Field in Chicago, the Saints and the Bears. It's a 7-0 New Orleans lead as they head to the halftime. Jim Everett has thrown a touchdown pass to Quinn early in that game. At the Meadowlands, field goal battle. 
The Colts and the New York Jets are tied at 6-6. Again, we're still trying to figure out what is up with the New York Jets. Well, you know, I, I think you got to give the Jets credit right now. I mean, it's hard for me to say that. But at least they're playing defense. The Colts aren't the greatest football team. But the Colts have beat them the last five times. I mean, this would be a big win for the Jets if they can get it. I don't think they're going to get it. If you can kick a field goal, you can make a living in That's these right. Jets-Colts games at 6-6. And in Green Bay, the Rams all over the Packers today at halftime. 17-3 is the score there. And in Atlanta, the Falcons on a roll so far today. They lead Tampa Bay by a score of 24-3. Coming up, we'll preview the second half of our doubleheader as we hear from the Chiefs' Joe Montana. That's right after these words from your local station. Capturing Bigfoot. I've seen one. I know it exists. Why is the government looking for him? New evidence on Unsolved Mysteries 7, 6 Central, NBC Tonight. One woman with three personalities. What you really want to do is kill me, isn't it? A murder mystery only her sister can solve. She thinks there's more here than meets the eye. Can you help me? But the secret she uncovers is more than she wanted to know. <laughs> Stephanie Simplest, Joe Beth Williams, and Corbin Burnson. Voices from within NBC Monday. Building our luxury family sedan, the Chrysler Concorde, we thought of everything, starting with spacious cab forward design. We gave it dual airbags and child protection rear door locks, ran it for millions of miles, subjected it to thousands of decibels and hundreds of hours in a wind tunnel. All this to make sure not only did we think of everything, we thought of everyone. Chrysler Concorde, a thoughtful expression of form following function. Okay. Um, this is our new house pumpkin where you're going to be born. Living room. Which looks a lot like the dining room. And we're going to have a couch and well, a table and a TV. And this is your room, Connor, with the crib here, the dresser, and lots of shoes. I thought we agreed on Elliot. You and your mother agreed on Elliot. You yeah, want Donna to agree. Me and you. Just say two. This is the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. When it's got to be good, and it's got to be now, it's got to be, got to be Domino's. Welcome back to the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report. The second half of our doubleheader features several good matchups. Many of you will see the 3-1 and one Kansas City Chiefs visiting the only undefeated team in the league, the San Diego Chargers. Another challenge for Joe Montana and his teammates, Ahmad Rashad spoke with Montana. the pressure on you. I was reading just this morning where Paul Haggard said that there were a lot of outside uh, annoyances when you first got here, but now that you're here, you're here to take the team to the Super Bowl. Do you ever feel that kind of pressure? Well, I, I mean, there's that pressure to go to the Super Bowl, I think, because of the way we played last year in, in the first year of this offense, and um, the way we started the season, I think, has, has helped that feeling along. And, but I think the players have to feel that way. I mean, when you go into play, I think you have to feel that you're going to win every game and you're going to go to the Super Bowl and you're going to win. Otherwise, uh, you end up defeating yourself before you can get started. As you look at some of the problems on your team, the running game has not been what you would like to have been. How do you improve that? Well, I think one of the things that really has taken our running game away is a lot of teams are coming up and playing us in more eight-man fronts than we would imagine. And so, you know, when you get eight-man front, it's hard to to block and, and run against that so the best thing to do is go ahead and throw the ball which we have been doing um, a little more uh, than we had comparing ourselves to last year at this time um, they feel that they have to stop our running game because that is what really drives the the engine of our offense and um, you, know, you we can throw the ball here and throw the ball there but uh, when it comes down to it we, if we can control the ball with our running game it really helps our passing game so people have been trying to take that away from us this, by far, is the most important game of the season, coming up with San Diego. How do you guys approach it? Well, I, the way Marty approaches it is, you know, with us has been two different ways. One, the first quarter of the season's over, going into the second quarter, and really our season is beginning now because now we're into a long stretch of playing all of our division opponents. Um, I think 
You know, they wanted us to be 4-0, and it would have been great to be 4-0, and but I think when you look back at the schedule before the season, they would have been happy with 3-1. and Right now, we're putting all that behind us and going forward, and, and uh, you know, we, this is a big game. This will decide who's got the head of the division for a while. Mike, what kind of a day do you think awaits Joe Montana against the Chargers? Well, I tell you, it's going to be a long day if his offensive line doesn't give him more support than they did last uh, two weeks ago against the Rams. The Rams harassed him the whole game and constantly put pressure on Montana. He couldn't execute. I really feel that San Diego's defensive line is every bit as good as the Rams' defensive line, so I think it's going to be a long afternoon for Kansas City and Joe. All right, Mike. One of our other late games is in New England. The Hot Patriots, winners of three straight, host the Raiders. That means Bill Parcells has to worry about his former Giants quarterback, Jeff Hostetler. I'd like to get a capture net if I could because he's a very elusive guy, and, and I know what kind of competitor Jeff is, and he's, you know, he certainly did a terrific job for me when we had him and, and uh, he's doing a very good job for the Raiders so hey with this free agency and plan B prior to that you know I see some of my past players I have them, Mark Ingram at Miami Pepper Johnson and Carl Banks at Cleveland we're playing a couple weeks so it's a little different but it's always kind of special to go against one of your own guys and Will McDonough joins us now from Foxborough Will what of the Patriots containing Jeff Hostetler well, I was talking with Bill in his office a little while ago. Imagine, Greg, the kickoff was 4 o'clock here, and he was already in by 9 o'clock this morning. And he said Hostetler's great attributes are his speed. He's much faster than you think. He doesn't make dumb decisions in the pocket. And he's most dangerous on third down when you don't put anybody right in front of him. So I think the Patriots all day today on third down will try to rush him up the middle, force the pocket back on him, and make him scramble left to right. You have to remember in this ball game, and I think the key down in this game is going to be when the Raiders have the ball on third down. Hostetler has been exceptional, and the Patriots' defense has been at its worst this year on third down. Greg? All right, Will, thanks. So this is another quarterback battle on tap today. Bledsoe versus Hostetler. Is this game more important to one than the other? I think it's a make-or-break game for the Raiders. They lose this game, they might pack them all up and forget about this 1994 season. They have to win this football game. I'll tell you the one thing that Bill didn't mention about Hostler. I think he's tough. I think he's got a tough mind, and I think that's what's going to save him. But I disagree with Will on the fact that third down is the most important down. The most important down for both of those football teams is what they can get on first down. They don't want to get into third and long because third and long is going to make them both vulnerable. All right, Mike. Here's a look at the doubleheader games coming up at 4 o'clock Eastern time, and our NFL Live halftime activities will continue. Special Tuesday on Wings 100th episode, Barfly Brian sees his future. Want to dance? There's no music. I got the music in me. And it's a Special Tuesday Mad About You bonus. Bing, bang, boom. Then a special hour of Frazier when Niles helps deliver a baby. Are you feeling faint or short of breath? Yes, both of those. Now he's the Niles you never thought you'd see. I want to have a baby. And practice makes perfect. And he's got his legs in. If you thought last week's was hilarious, don't miss this week's Frazier. NBC Tuesday. There are over 200 million vehicles on our roads today. And when the one you're running starts running on empty, there are three excellent quick-fill gasolines to fill you up and get you back on the road again. Quick. Quick-fill unleaded. Quick-fill unleaded plus. And high-octane super quick. For peak performance from any driving machine. Quick-fill. For all you've got that's running on empty. After you watch the game, call Sports Extra online with your Bills questions and comments. <laughs> Welcome back. Dick Kenbrick, Bob Truffy, <laughs> Hannah Storm, and friends. 80,000 of them here at Red Stadium in Buffalo. A 7-3 score uh, at halftime. And now the sun shining after a rainy uh, Buffalo Sunday morning. Let's take a look at the uh, Coors Light halftime statistics and what jumps out for you Bob well I, I think the time of possession number one by the Bills over uh, all, better than five minutes more possession in the first half uh, the other thing the Bills have two turnovers and the Dolphins can't do anything about it mm -hmm. I mean they don't convert Miami normally very good at converting the the, the the turnovers the other thing is if you look at those numbers of the 76 rushing yards that Miami had in the first half Bernie Parmley has got 61 He's got to get the ball more in the second He's half. Averaging over seven yards a carry. Yeah. Half. Marino, not a good half at all. Nine of 23, just 125 yards. 
Uh, Kelly, on the other hand, 10 of 14, 98 yards. He's been very, Jim Kelly's been very proficient in the first half. And that slowdown, going back to the huddle, Dick, I think it's a huge factor. It's kind of given the, the unstable offensive line a chance to catch their breath, look at the defense they're facing. A little more deliberate has worked for the Buffalo offense. So in the past, when we talk about, well, Buffalo possession time, the other team always in the plus column, it's because of the hurry-up Bills offense. Well, today they're not hurrying up. They're huddling, taking their time, and lead 7-3. to three. Miami will get the ball initially here in the second half. In fact, the Bills, going back to possession time, are 27th in the league, averaging about 26 and a half minutes possession per game. And yet they were plus five minutes over Miami in the first half today. Christie to kick it off. O.J. McDuffie and Mike Williams are deep into the win. Look at that ball die. Wow. That's a free ball and finally covered by Mike Williams. who was hit and home. McDuffie got it. And Sam Rogers got McDuffie. Hannah? Well, uh, Dick, uh, earlier I talked to Coach Shula just before he went in for halftime, and he echoed Bob Trumpy's thoughts. Uh, one of his thoughts, as you can see from my hair, is about the wind down here. He said that the wind is affecting his team. However, he does not want to use that as an excuse. And he did mention he's very pleased with his defense, with the two turnovers, but that his offense hasn't been able to take advantage. What adjustments are you going to have in the second half, I asked him. He said, we're going to score. Dick? All right, had a noble effort talking with hair in her mouth. That is tough to do. That's a pro. <laughs> Finally. Well, yes, why not run him more? Don Shula must have looked at those numbers as well. And Parmalee nearly 11 yards on first down. Tally made the tackle. You know, Dick, in the preparation for the game, as you watch the play again, in preparation for the game, you've got a game plan. And if you feel like you can throw the ball against the team, you start the game throwing the ball. But great head coaches can make those adjustments at halftime, come out with plan B, and hope it works. Eight yards per rush for Parmalee. First down from the 35. And incomplete. Mark Ingram had it for a moment. And then knocked away Thomas Smith on the coverage. Uh, Smith, who was the first round pick from North Carolina by Buffalo a year ago, taking that spot that uh, Nate Odoms vacated when he moved on to Seattle. Done a good job. That uh, that coverage, not really the kind of tight coverage you like as a cornerback, but he's learning on the job. Ingram left, Flyer right, Byers in motion on second and ten over Ingram's head. Flag down. This will be well. You can't. You're assuming it's on the defensive back. There was contact. Holding number 28 defense. Five yard penalty. First down. Well, you don't get all A's when you learn on the job, <laughs> do you? It's part of the learning experience, but Ingram gives him that inside move. I didn't see him hold him. I saw the chuck, and that was more than five yards down the field. But the penalty was holding. Yeah, Only five it, yards, but importantly, a first down with it. Yeah. Cornerbacks need bad memories. That's the best attribute of a good cornerback. And when you take that 200 question test in Buffalo, you got to be able to forget some of them yep. when you're a cornerback. Running with some pure seven more yards for this young guy, John Chulo. Even when he wasn't carrying the ball much, Chula told us that he's the kind of guy I want on my team because he hustles all the time. Yeah, formerly a baseball player, his second and third baseman. When he was uh, growing up, paid more attention to baseball than he did football. Last week, he had 18 carries for 73 yards. That was his best day. Now he's got 79. This is his best day so far. Second and three and a half. The fire in motion. Finally caught from behind by Bruce Smith. Oh, the all-pro from the backside. Not many men can make that play. Now, that, that's the amazing thing about Bruce Smith, too. Inside the offensive tackle, and look at the speed. He's right there with the running back. There aren't five guys who have played defensive line in the history of the NFL who have that kind of speed to run down plays from behind. Smith, who has seven sacks to lead the Bills, three forced fumbles to lead the Bills. Interception already this year. 
And 42 tackles to lead the Bills coming in. Marino to four. Oh, almost a brilliant catch by Keith Byers. But again, that win, floating the ball away from Byers' one-handed stab, and it's the punting team on for Miami. Would have been a heck of a catch. Coming right at you, he has to almost pirouette to even get a hand on this. And he's got more of a catcher's mitt or a first baseman's mitt on the end of his <laughs> forearm there and almost makes the catch. He's another ex-baseball player and basketball at Dayton, Ohio. A wobbler. Harris. First man misses. Second man. Way out of bounds. And the flag. Late hit. Number 57, rookie Dion Fox from James Madison was late on the hit. That was just dumb. And there is a six foot border around the field here. He's two steps. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness on number 57. Late hit out of bounds. 15 yards. First down. Time out. This is one long game. They even ran out of food. The fans must be hungry. I'll tell you about hungry. When it's got to be good and it's got to be now. Pick up the phone. We're going to knock. Call for a large, two-topping, crunchy, thin-crust pizza and get a medium, one-topping pizza free. Did you see that? Aptiva. 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 You can get to anyone in D.C. The man has contacts everywhere. It's a neurological inflammation of the aptival region. I'm about to take over the entire empire. And then this droid Aptiva kills me dead. <laughs> Aptiva. It's whatever you want. However, whenever, whenever you want it. It's the newest multimedia PC. Speak. Hello, I'm Aptiva. From IBM. When craftsmanship is elevated to a level far beyond excellence, becomes something different. It becomes an art. Acura. Some things are worth the price. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Acura. Some things are worth the price. By UPS, the official package delivery company of the NFL. By Budweiser, Beechwood Age for a crisp, clean, classic taste. And by Domino's Pizza. Call Domino's now. Buy a large two-topping crunchy thin crust pizza and we'll give you a medium pizza free. Yes, sir. October is here and nature's canvas now being painted with some mighty colors in this part of the world. Football goes to work. First possession, second half. Thurman Thomas, he needs only nine more yards to reach 8,000 and uh, now it'll be 10. Marco Coleman closed the door along with Chris Singleton. A, a reverse would work here. So an awful lot of Miami Dolphins over there at the corner to stop that that run by Thurman Thomas. If they can somehow get a reverse, it right. might go for a while. And Andre Reed uh, often runs it very well. Another low-scoring game in New York. Both and Jeff. 134 on Met by Gene Atkins initially at the 41. Klingbile to finish it off. Third and long for Buffalo. There's been the trouble down for Kelly. Five of his previous eight interceptions have been on third down. Coming at you again, the underneath handoff. Will Gardner leads. Also a good pull by Davis. And Atkins has shaken with that tackle, leaves the field. Chris Green, who played with Henry Jones at Illinois. Marco Coleman, well out of the blocks, was he drawn offside? And now a late flag thrown. 
Might have been something else said by one of the players. Offside, number 90, defense, running unabated toward the quarterback. No snap, five-yard penalty, third down. Now that'll make it third down and about two for uh, Marv Levy's Bill. So Levy, who has a winning record against Don Shula, when you count playoffs, he's 13 and 5 against Shula. Not many men in this game in the 32 great coaching years of the NFL for Don Shula can say, I've got a sizable winning advantage against the jaw. And off to Sherman Thomas. Breaking tackles. What a run. First down, Buffalo. Seventeenth man to hit the 8,000-yard mark rushing Thurman Thomas, and what a run. Watch the blitz by Brian Cox, and this play runs right away from it. He avoids Brian Cox, and Singleton tries to get a hand on him. Tough guy to bring down. I mean, he plays 240. The only way is about 210. First time at the 47 of Miami. Tyrell Gardner, nearly 10 on that drive. Flag down at the end of the play. Beavers and Atkins with a tackle. Face mask foul. Five yards on number 28. Defense. It's a first down. Straight up the gut. Nothing fancy here. Just man on man. They get shoulders on Brian Cox. There's the hand on the face mask. Atkins takes it away, but it ends up being a big game. Nine on the run and five on the penalty, and Miami uncharacteristically with eight penalties, 58 yards. That will burn that man as much as anything. Bill's running game picking up momentum and Thomas skipping down to the 30-yard line. And, and Dick, for an unstable offensive line, this is much easier. It's much easier to run block than it is to pass protect. It's not as complicated. These are big guys. Kraft came here to Buffalo at 380, is now playing at about 330. And this is Belt the, 330, <laughs> yes. And call him the condo. He's more like a... Uh, duplex <laughs> he's bigger than a condo he plays right tackle and then he plays right tackle look at Gardner he comes out almost like a tight end Vince Morrow has been playing using a lot of blockers Thomas up the middle diving to the 27 yard line where it'll be third and five I see they're just spreading out the Miami defense with that to Gardner the, the, the fullback up on the line of scrimmage and just allowing the offensive line to put shoulder on shoulder. Craig Vesey and Frankie Smith come in for Miami. Beavers and Klingbeil go out on third and five, and Farewell Gardner out as they bring in uh, Bill Brooks, a third wide receiver. And Marino, normally the busy man when he plays Kelly in Buffalo, he's the one who's had to stand and watch today. away then hammered at the 25 shy of a first down Marco Coleman was a man in there initially and Singleton got the tackle fans want uh, Levy to go for it into the wind and apparently he will as Kenneth Davis has set in well again you saw, saw the greatness of Thurman Thomas that vision went right under the arm tackle of to the lost three yeah. and four yards Marco Coleman just couldn't get his arm low enough. Big play for Buffalo. Leading 7-3. Eight minutes left in the third. Kelly looking for Reed. And the wind again. A factor. That ball dying down at the ankles. Coverage by J.B. Brown. And Miami takes over on downs. That was the only pass of the entire drive. And actually, this is a good call. You get Andre Reed in motion. Decent protection. But the wind does kill the ball. The, the, the point of that ball went down, and it just dove right into the turf. Levy and the Bills give up the ball to Miami. Most people have something they're willing to 
pay a premium for. For some, it's art. For some, it's entertainment. For others, it's travel. Acura. Some things are worth the price. Oh, boy, am I... I can't stop. <laughs> and my body is... Uh, how am I ever going to... Lakes like will live with cats. Why is it the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffing, head fever medicine? Why so you can rest medicine? Of course. Hey, America, you like tailgate parties? We know you like cheese. So why not throw a real cheese tailgate party? Look for the display at your local store and get great values on a variety of cheese. Real cheese for a tasty tailgate party. A punctual boy, our son. Punctual? All over the world, UPS drivers are the same. Ask their mothers. He's not rich. He's not handsome, but punctual. Mm. He was even born on time. They're obsessed with being on time. So UPS guarantees on-time delivery to hundreds of cities around the world or your money back. If my son says he will be there, he will be there. It's a guarantee that not only has our driver's word on it, it has their mother's. He breaks out in a rush if he's late. I... Coming up next, Montana and the Chiefs face Seau and the Chargers. Hostetler and the Raiders collide with Bledsoe and the Patriots or regional action. Don't miss it. Back with Miami with the ball. The crowd, while we're away, a standing ovation when it was announced that Thurman Thomas became the 17th to rush for 8,000 yards. Reno on first down to keep Jackson the tight end. Jackson battling. Right to the 35 will be uh, just shy of a first down. Thurman Thomas trying to pretend he didn't notice for the teammates. Coming over to congratulate and the 80,000 Buffalo faithful with a huge roar to uh, celebrate Thomas's talent. You know. You, you know where the records lie in the NFL. Oklahoma State. You'll meet Barry Sanders, his Oklahoma State teammate on Thanksgiving Day. Second and short, Parmley sticks his helmet in the middle of the Buffalo pile and has the first down. Parmley, you mentioned his baseball talent to Bob Trumpy. He was on the American Legion National Champions in Jersey City in high school. He said he hit 464. Willie Banks, the pitcher with the Chicago Cubs, a teammate. And a pretty good team. Apparently just likes contact a little more than what you get out of baseball, you know? 82 yards rushing for Parmalee. Miami Trail 7-3. First down at their own 37. Marino to the sidelines. And Ingram battling in front of Mickey Washington. A short gainer and a dangerous pass considering the wind conditions. That was a long throw for Marino. But Dan Marino can put a lot of revolutions on the ball. And that helps in windy conditions, especially into the wind. Now with the wind, it can make the ball sail. But the... You see his eyes, and, four. and Marino, you, you constantly see him yelling at his teammates, do this, do this better. One of the few quarterbacks who can get away with that. He leads the NFL with 14 touchdown passes coming in, but shut out today. Second and four. Again, to this side, broken up by Washington. Irving Fryer, the receiver. Fryer and Washington were teammates at New England for two years and practiced every day against one another, so there's a lot of familiarity there. And that is great coverage by Washington. Hand in, just knocks the ball away. Beautifully done. That is a very difficult pattern to defend, and Washington was right there to knock the ball away. A third and four Miami. They've converted only twice out of eight chances on third down today. Very much underneath their average. They're about a 50% third down conversion team. Almost intercepted as intended for Keith Jackson. Matt Darby deep down the middle had his hands on it. Yeah, that was with the wind and that thing appeared to just take off right over Keith Jackson's head, Dick. Now Marino struggling today. Has to leave the field. Fourth down and four. Gary Stevens, his offensive coordinator, tries to console him. 
Jeff Burris back at his 15 as Arnold to punt the wind at his back. Burris. Burris. 25, 30, 35, 40. Nice 20 yard return for the rookie Jeff Burris. Parmley made the tackle. Only a 34 yard punt by Arnold. It's 1954 at the University of Milan, and a young man gets a C in mathematics, which causes him to lose his scholarship and take up sidewalk drawing, which spawns a worldwide movement in art that inspires a burgeoning painter, which leads to the opening at the museum that caused the traffic jam that's making you late for work. With all that can go wrong in your day, isn't it nice to know you can depend on your Honda Civic? Virginia Hicks. Marinara sauce. What's on top of Wendy's new chicken sandwich? My guess is ratatouille. It's guacamole. It better be big. Introducing Wendy's Chicken Bacon Swiss, a whole breast fillet, three strips of bacon Swiss, and a tangy sauce. All they had to do was ask. It was forged from a commitment to strength, protection, and to your peace of mind. It is Titan from Quickset. Titan door locks. Unbeatable strength. Unbeatable security. Here's the last play. Here's Jackson on the pattern, but he's got two linebackers dropping underneath him, a free safety. The guy that Marino should have chosen on third and four was Keith Byers out in the flat. But Marino's trying to get the ball down the field, and as this play develops, you can see the coverage is good against Keith Jackson. Not many times when you see Dan Marino make the wrong choice as to the proper receiver to throw it to, that was a mistake. It continues low scoring, 7-3 Buffalo. Carwell Gardner struggles for a couple. After the 20-yard uh, punt return by Jeff Burris, giving Kelly and company good field position. Uh, this, this, this Buffalo offensive line now has got to feel pretty confident. You know, Miami's not a bad defensive line. Look at the time of possession. They're somewhat in control of this line of scrimmage. So the offensive line getting better here going with two tight ends Metzlar's to the right Vince Merrill on the left Jeff Davis breaks a tackle and gets a couple to the 44 yard line good pursuit by the Miami Dolphins on comes BB and Brooks two extra wide receivers on third down and six See, this is like a normal football game <laughs> Buffalo huddling up. I mean, this is this is the way it usually is. You're, you're saying that from a frustrated analyst point of view, Correct. where you don't have time to say anything. Whether they're right. in that real K gun. Time ticking away in the third. Bills by four. Whoa, Brian Cox in front of Pete Metzlars and. You could even hear the Buffalo yes. fans ooh and ah. That was close. Uh, see, again, this guy has not played a lot of middle linebacker in the pros. Came out of Western Illinois where he was a combination strong safety and rover back. More used to being on the outside. He seems to have that natural instinct, and we know he's got the nastiness to be a middle linebacker. Well, he, he'll be tough to move back outside. Uh, Dwight Hollier just getting healthy has been out the starting middle linebacker beginning of the season. Chris Moore against the win. Kicking him farther than Arnold with the win. Flag down as McCuffey out of bounds at the 12. Carwell Gardner, the big fullback first down field. A 44-yard punt high into the wind by Chris Moore. Jerry Mark Bright. Looks like he might have taken a little punch himself. <laughs> Still on his feet. Hey, are we rolling? Are we rolling? 
It's been a penalty ridden day for Don Shula and Miami. on number 31 on Miami while the kick was in the air. It'll be penalized from the spot of possession. Sean Hill, the rookie. First down. Another Miami penalty. Moreno and Miami near their goal line when we come back. Change my oil. I'll get a lot of miles out of my truck. I use Pennzoil, and I change it every 3,000 miles. Now with a revolutionary Pennstar molecule, Pennzoil clings to moving parts. Works like liquid ball bearings. Play Pennzoil's Ticket to Ride game. Scratch, match, and win one of 10 Harley-Davidson Softail motorcycles, one of 10 Harley-Davidson leather jackets, or one of a 1,000 other prizes. Get game cards where you buy Pennzoil, or have your oil changed professionally with Pennzoil. At the Honda factory in Ohio, every Accord is given a bath before it's painted. A zinc phosphate bath. It helps fight rust and corrosion over the life of the car. Now, why do we go to such lengths? That's why. Next Saturday, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, led by quarterback Ron Paulus, take on the high-scoring BYU Cougars. Notre Dame football is home on NBC next Saturday. The marriage of Shula and Marino in Miami has produced some high numbers through the years. Let's take a look behind the statistics. And of late, average yards per game. 327 and 91 ranked seventh up to fifth and 92 to second a year ago and this year just five yards shy of being number one new england's number one 419 a game today against buffalo they've outgained the bills by 40. but trail seven to three and marino begins from his own six yard line and the bills you can see bruce smith and tally and bennett saying hey Let's get ourselves a safety. The crowd will make it almost impossible to hear. A couple of yards for Parley. Hanson made a big play. North Dakota State graduate and Jeff Wright from Central Missouri State. They flank Keith Byers, 41. He tries to get a little lead block, but the defensive line does a great job of just standing up, holding their ground, giving Parmalee, Parmalee no place to run. He picked up three. Parmalee again, straight ahead, swift to the 12. Where it'll be third down and three and a half. Maddox, the hit. Well, they use, this is Bruce Smith, the defensive end of the Buffalo Bills, the brilliant player on Richmond Webb. That time, uh, Miami used Keith Byers on a wham. Came in motion and hit the nose tackle. Jeff Wright. Wright fought it off. That play going up the middle, and Smith from defensive right end, right on it at the line of scrimmage. A lot of what he does... You, you just can't recognize how great it is until you start watching on tape how often he does it. Double pass to Byers. Nothing doing. Listen to these fans cheer the defense. <laughs> Tackle made by Daryl Talley. What a play by Darrell Talley. One of the brightest linebackers in football. In fact, his teammates say Talley's brightness and his friendship with Bruce Smith, his football brightness has made Smith, with all his talent, equally good. Arnold gets 
the kick of the day away. A high floater, and Burris, oh, it takes a bounce for Buffalo. That had one of those, if it takes the bounce the other way, may never have stopped. The Bills hold have it with the lead late in the third. Hello? Hi, Jan from the paper calling to confirm your facts. Go ahead. The ad reads, for sale, fax machine, answering machine, speakerphone. Introducing the Compact Presario. With fax machine, message center, speakerphone, and CD-ROM drive built in, it's one business tool that could replace a lot of others. Going out of business, huh? Actually, I'm just getting started. It starts with fresh-baked bread, juicy slices of mouth-watering steak, and the kicker, it's covered with A1 steak sauce, plus all the fresh fixings you like. Subway's new A1 steak and cheese. If you're not hungry yet, you better check your pulse. What do two hitmen, one girlfriend, a renegade, and the secret suitcase have in common? That's a good question. They're all part of the most electrifying film of the year. Pulp Fiction, rated R. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Daryl Talley, he and Marino's careers shadowing one another from Pittsburgh, West Virginia to Buffalo, Miami. Here is the shovel pass, and watch Daryl Talley, 56. Never makes a false step. Is right there, unblocked. He's supposed to be influenced away. Was not. I mean, that, that's that football smarts you're talking about, Dick. That's the first time Miami three and out in the game. Down to the final minute of this third quarter yeah, this, and the Bills with the ball at their own 45. Yeah, this is another part of going into the huddle slowing down the offense allowing the defense to face fewer plays therefore their pressure at the end of the game. What the delay is here. Buffalo staying on the ground here. In the second half, leading 7-3. to three. Kelly has it batted in the air incomplete. Looked to be Marco Coleman over the top trying to get a hand on it. Number 90, who played at Georgia Tech, played last year with a broken hand. Really limited his total effectiveness. Gets his right mid on that one. And we just put up the graphic. 9-2 to two in rushes, now 9-3 to three in rushes, and they come out throwing. What is this? <laughs> Reed to the left. The only wide receiver. Two tight ends. Toss to Thurman. Comes into his own blocker. And doesn't quite get to the 45. So no gain. Aubrey Beavers, the rookie linebacker for Miami. He pushed the blocker right into the running back's path. I mean, they like this kid because at Oklahoma, he played true linebacker. But watch what he does. Watch for 53. He's on Parker. No, it's Pete Metzelars. Pushes him right back in Thurman Thomas's way, and then helps on the tackle. Uh, that I'd say is a plus right. on the play for Aubrey Beaver. Coaches will note that effort. Good and ten. Camille moves the rush. He chased him behind. Has a first down, and he's safely out of it. Flag is down. It's a first down if at the 42 of Miami. Flag down where Kelly took off, and it appears to be a hold. Yes. Jeff Cross was chasing Jim Kelly, and he was just trying to find somebody else's feet and legs because he was not making up any ground. Holding number 68, offense. Carbon Lacina, who has been uh, called into duty, and in this is second season, played it. Little Augustana, South Dakota. 6-4 and 300. Holding number 68, offense. 10 yards, third down. Now third down and long, and this has been an area where the Bills have struggled drastically. 27 times they've been in this situation this year. They've converted twice. Wow. That's the lack of protection. That's a big part of it. Third and 20. Changing his play. Kelly going deep, but no one's there. 
Reed had run his man deep, J.B. Brown, and Kelly thought he was going to hook and come back to the ball. Yeah, I think he, Jim Kelly had to change the formation because Brian Cox is blitzing on the outside here. He changed the way the blocking pattern, among other things. Coleman and Cox run into each other. Kelly steps up, but not even close to a completion. Kelly hold for four in the half. More to punt. McDuffie at the other end for Miami. Double out! Another beautifully high kick. 21, 25, five. Oh. And who's got it? Bills all around the ball. Several Bills had their hands on it. Could be the play of the game if this ball recovers. They got it at the 25. Nick, I thought the hard part was the catch. 38, Mike Dumas was the last one to get up. He's down there digging. Well, if he got it, he really did some scratching. Bruce Smith. He loves it. Bucky Brooks may have been the man, 81, who finally came out with the ball. The million-dollar smile from Bruce Smith, and Jim Kelly is happy as well at the 26 with a chance to add to the 7-3 lead. Fly balls are tough ones in this one. Herman Thomas. Ducking towards Thomas. for Thurman Thomas after the muff punt O.J. McDuffie and Thomas celebrating his induction into the 8,000 yard rushing club today has his second score and 77 yards on the day typical Thomas stopped in a pile and then just squirts out for the score Christie adds the extra point and Buffalo celebrates a 14 to 3 lead in the final seconds of the third the missed tackle comes right here. Jeff Cross, 91. Brian Cox, 51. Both missed tackles. The point to be made, the defense leaves the field. It's done its job. Buffalo punch. You're over there on the sideline. You get a glass of Gatorade, a glass of ice water. You relax for a split second. Fumble on the punt return. You're back on the field. More plays are broken. Busted for touchdowns on the play after a turnover for exactly that reason and Bruce Smith celebrates his good buddy's 26 yard touchdown run oh Jay McCuffey will endeavor to make amends for the Dolphins never over with that man still you're right on the sidelines and uh, that's Brooks Bucky Brooks the rookie who recovered the ball, young man from North Carolina, with a big play. And uh, stretching the hamstring there. The way they were digging after that bubble, they were grabbing anything <laughs> and pulling at it. Uh, Gox is saying, I missed the tackle. He and Jeff Cross, two of the most sure-handed tacklers on the Miami Dolphins, missed tackles. Like what this man does or says, regardless, you talk to the coaches and players. He stands up and he says, I'll be counted. He takes the blame. He doesn't hide from anyone or anything. Christie gets a deep sidewinder to the five. It's McDuffie again. To the 28-yard line. Met by three Bills. Sam Rogers again, proving to be a star in special teams. The rookie backer from Colorado. Oh, Marino with nine seconds left with the win. Dick, again, these two guys missed tackles. Cox 51, the linebacker, cross the defensive end. Cross misses first, then Brian Cox normally 
very sure-handed. But again, Thurman Thomas makes a little ball of himself. There's nothing to tackle. On the 29. Parmalee. Tries to get outside, earns a tough three yards into the arms of Hanson and Maddox. That's the third quarter. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Monday, the Fresh Prince is chased by criminals. So, he hides out in a friendly little town. I hear you'd like to go dancing. All new Fresh Prince, NBC Monday. For what you put into your relationship with your bank, are you getting enough out of it? At KeyBank, our Key Preference Plan gives you a premium rate CD, plus preferred pricing on financial services. Get more out of your life. Get more out of your bank. At KeyBank, America's neighborhood bank. Mrs. Humpty. What is it, Earl? Well, it's about Humpty. Yeah? Ned and I have been thinking this through for a while and it don't add up. Humpty was a pro. He'd never just lose his balance. What we think Humpty was... was... Oh. Oh, oh, no! My next. More information, more solutions, more stuff. They show me exceptional concern as a person, and they show me that they care about my feelings. I couldn't ask for better care than what I received during a very difficult time in my life. I, I've been told by numerous people, everyone that I came in contact with while I was in the hospital, that I just had the best. Without health care playing at my side, I certainly wouldn't have come through it the way I did. I'd like to thank them for being there. The Post Game Show with Ed Kilgore, Sunday after the game, only on Bill's Channel 2. This is presented by authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the NFL is prohibited. With Anna Storm, Bob Tumpy, Dick Kenberg, welcome to the fourth quarter. Battle for first in the AFC East, and Buffalo has taken a 14-3 lead. Second down, seven Miami from their 32. Underneath and behind Fryer, incomplete. And Marino's been off target today. Maddox on the coverage. And to try to add to the problem here, they put Bruce Smith right over the center. He was a standing there. Bruce Smith is right here. So Danny knows that middle pressure again. Jeff Wright takes the inside move. And uh, Danny kind of threw that one sidearm. Didn't really get his real good delivery on that one. Third and seven. Incomplete again. So Marino, who is shooting 63% of his passes for the season today, is 12 for 32, only 37%. And he's not looked good throwing the ball. Yes, in part because of pressure, but, but the wind is also affecting him. This time, Hanson 90 gets inside Richmond Webb. Hanson and Bruce Smith there. Looks like Hanson put his helmet right in his chest, right in his stomach. That was uh, borderline again in terms of uh, that one-step rule. Arnold's kick again is short, but takes a Miami bounce. And will roll close to the 20-yard line. Back to the 20. Timeout. Early fourth quarter. Buffalo 14-3.
see what happens when you demand better? Aurora by Oldsmobile. Let's play Coca-Cola Monsters of the Gridiron. The challenger, Chris Weiss. His opponent, Emmett Lone Star Sheriff Smith of the Dallas Cowboys. Chris goes left. I wouldn't go that way. Uh -huh. The kid fakes right. You're mine. <laughs> he goes up the middle. Touchdown! Me, Burba Kid. Specially marked Coca-Cola products. Collect monster trading cards and play Monsters of the Gridiron. You can win Super Bowl tickets or one of 8 million prizes. You're next. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Oldsmobile and your authorized Aurora retailers. By Coca-Cola Classic, the official soft drink of the NFL. Always a scream, always Coca-Cola. By Subway, the place where fresh is the taste. And by Coors Light, the silver bullet. Keep on moving. With our producer John Francis and director John Gonzalez, the Kenberg, Bob Trumpy, Hannah Storm, fourth quarter, 14:37 left, and Buffalo needing a win to move back into a tie for first place and having an edge head-to-head -head with Miami. 14 to three for Kelly and the Bills. Almost intercepted that pass again. The wind batting it wide. BB the intended target. And Kelly's yet to complete a pass here in the second half. Over five. Uh, that is surprising too. Control of the game, 14 to three. They've had good luck running the football, and they come out throwing. Fourth quarter this season, Marino versus Kelly. 371 yards for Marino, 123 for Kelly. Two touchdowns for Marino, four intercepts for Kelly. There's the first catch of the second half, and it's going to be good for a first down to Andre Reed, just across the 30-yard line. Now, obviously, with the win, Buffalo Bills offense and Jim Kelly feels a lot more confident. And this one's got some revolutions on it. And again, just the hitch, just the 10 yard hitch. Vincent there in coverage, but not there to break it up. Six catches, 70 yards for Reed. Reed, who went over the 600 catch mark, the 13th in NFL history to do that. Another first down out to the 41-yard line. And boy, did Carwell Gardner open the hole for him. Jeez, he just absolutely cut the legs out from Michael Stewart. Here's the fullback. You're going to see his lead block when he gets out here. Stewart tries to fill. And there's Stewart on the ground. And Carwell Gardner clears the lane for him. Atkins finally makes the tackle. This if this has been a good elixir for the Buffalo Bills offensive line. Slow it down. And they respot that ball at the 40, not the 41, so a measurement. And still the first down. First and 10 from the 40. So the Bills, a couple of first downs. 13:34 left as uh, Biscuit Bennett looks on. And he told us he was going to move inside. Play this game inside has not, not been necessary. Again, two tight ends, Bob, and that's been part of the scheme, yes. getting an extra blocker in there for Look, Kelly. Look, right and they run it. Davis behind Gardner's lead block, but nothing there, no gain. Marco Coleman spoiled the Buffalo fun. I think it's kind of fun to watch what happens when they run two tight ends in there. Miami then comes with the eighth guy to stop the run. They brought up the strong safety, so there were more people to block than Buffalo had people for. So Michael Stewart was there to kind of flush the play, get it back inside where the pursuit could stop it. Now in second and ten, Shula sends in Frankie Smith, the extra defensive back, and takes out linebacker Aubrey Beavers. Bills counter with the three wide receivers, Brooks and Reed slotted left, and BB right. What a catch by Reed, sliding like an outfielder. Today's time for Andre Reed. 
Reed again in the slot comes from all the way on the other side of the field. And Reed running and catching the ball is a lot better than Reed standing still catching the ball. Frankie Smith in coverage. Yeah, you're right. Nice slide right into the sideline there. First down at the Miami 47. Oh, what a receiver he's been out of Cootstown State. Division II football. The star of the Golden Bears. He was a high school quarterback. This time it's Brooks with his first catch today. And that's going to be close to another first down. Brian Cox made the tackle. Uh, Buffalo's offense now. Confusion has set in on the Miami defense. So much of what Buffalo has done today has worked. That the linebackers don't know which way to go. Towards the line of scrimmage to stop the run, back to stop the pass. Good combination of play calling here by Jim Kelly. And really got this uh, Miami That'll defense wondering. Well, and the Bills have not scored a touchdown in the fourth quarter of the last three games. With marching now on Thurman Thomas. Again, bouncing out of the pile and picking up positive yardage. Much like the touchdown run. Goes into the crowd. Everything seems to converge on him, and he pops out the other side. Gene always Atkins finally got him down. Dick always keeps his eyes open, looking for a little space. Doesn't see it, keeps his eyes open. Let's try someplace else. And then watch when he makes himself a little ball. Hey, there's just nothing to hit there. Another first down. All-purpose yards. I mean, there are a lot of great running backs we talk about. Barry Sanders, Emma Smith. But all-purpose yards, this guy may be the king. And catch it as well as any receiver in the game. <laughs> First down for Thurman Thomas. Cox and Cross with a tackle. Well, it, despite a very slow start for Thurman Thomas, is uh, some of the offense wondering when we're going to get our chance. He's uh, up over 80 yards rushing today and two touchdowns. Well, we mentioned that he needed a big day, and he is offered control for this Buffalo offense. <laughs> say about this Buffalo football team this was a crossroads football game for them in my estimation they knew how what kind of desperation position they were in if they lose they they get together they have a team meeting watch Brian Cox here 51 Davis 65 just parks Brian Cox but but I mean they have a, an offensive team meeting this is the most resilient football team I have ever been around There's no one there to stop him. And now finally grounded back at the 25-yard uh, line. Marco Coleman gets to Thomas. So he goes from 99 yards rushing and now the deficit on that one. And it looks like the uh, pitch is good here. But Thurman kind of took his eyes off of it. So one guy getting the corner there and he's going to try to make a move. Catch that ball first. A loss of 10 on the play. But I mean, it, this is... This football team you just can't bury. You know, everybody wants them to go away. They're getting old. They're missing this guy. They're missing that guy. They it's, do not charge the 10 yards against his rushing. 10 yards are fumble yards. Great hurt. There it is. Reed. And he's got blockers. 15. Out of bounds. Inside the 10. First and goal. Jim Kelly looked like Stan Humphreys out in front of that reverse. He was motioning for Andre Reed to follow it. The handoff to Davis. See if we can see Kelly motioning. There he is. Come on with me. Come on with me. <laughs> he said, I heard Bob Crumby say you ought to run a reverse. Follow me. I don't. <laughs> we can't really call this much of a block. This is a nice dive. But. It's not quite a first down. It'll be third down and one. So two tight ends. And Gardner gets the call to the six to five. 
five, and that'll be enough for the first down. First and goal. Brian Cox makes the tackle. Clock running. 7.40 left in the fourth quarter. Well orchestrated, engineered game plan by Marv Levy. Realizing the, the team offensive line problems just aren't going to give Kelly the kind of time he had in that red gun, so he's gone with an extra tight end, using that. Gardner as a blocker throughout the day, using the huddle, dominating the ball position. Davis. Consecutive AFC championships. That was the bill of the 90s. And the message to the country is we still know how to win. <laughs> 80 yards in 13 very impressive plays. How much time? Seven and a half minutes. Wow. Christie's point after. Buffalo 21, Miami 3. Oh, hi. Elvira here, finding great horror movies for the Coors Light Flicker Treat Giveaway. Coors! Huh? We're giving away 50,000 videos, like the giant Gila monster, the wasp woman, or the brain that wouldn't die. Don't just stand there. Look for me this Halloween in a shocking display of specially marked Coors packages. With Bill Clips inside to tell you if you want. The Coors Light Flicker Treat Giveaway. It'll be a scream. <laughs> if you don't replace your air and oil filters regularly, you might as well drive your car off a cliff. Because dirt can really mess up an engine. Fram Extra Life Air Filters and Fram Extra Guard Oil Filters keep out dirt best to protect your engine. Fram, America's number one premium brand. Pay a little now or a lot later. Get a $2 rebate on Fram Air Filters at participating retailers. This is one long game. They even ran out of food. The fans must be hungry. I'll tell you about hungry. for a large two-topping crunchy thin crust pizza and get a medium one-topping pizza free. Did you see that? The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Call Domino's now. Buy a large two-topping crunchy thin crust pizza and we'll give you a medium pizza free. <laughs> Buffalo Bills knowing well uh, Desperate condition. A loss today dropped them two behind Miami plus the head-to-head. -head. They have played with great inspiration. 21-3. to three. Steve Christie gets a low skidding kickoff. Down to uh, Williams. Or Ronnie Williams, the tight end, and he's out to the 35-yard line. Back to the touchdown. Now we feature Brian Cox here. Brian Cox is is going to get blocked here twice. Once right there by 68 Corbin Lucina, then Parker pushes him down. But he doesn't do a bad job. He turns the play back inside. His teammates are supposed to make the tackle. Here's Cox right here. And you're going to see him get hit more than once. Oh, I got the one. There's 51. There he is, hit by 68, then 74. But Singleton and other people are supposed to help. Marino. Underneath, takes the short stop, a gain of about five. He fires on the catch, and then after the touchdown, interestingly, Davis, who used those blocks well, and uh, Brian Cox come over to say, you got me. Yeah, nice cut. Nice cut. Job well done. Meanwhile, the Bills, with their new uh, offensive scheme, the huddle and all, a really dominated possession time. Marino. Almost intercepted by Mark Maddox, intended for Keith Jackson. Uh, Marino has not made good choices there. I don't think Buffalo has changed their coverages that much. But again, 
This is Dan Marino throwing the football right into coverage. I mean, there is no question whatsoever that Maddox is there. There has to be somebody else open if Jackson is that covered. Third and a long four. Marino and Miami not beyond midfield since the first quarter. Breaking tackles, O.J. McDuffie, and then he's leveled at the 41 of Buffalo by Kurt Schultz. First down on the first catch of the day by McDuffie. So the second time, or the first time since the first quarter, that uh, Miami is in Buffalo territory. They've used McDuffie very little. Here we go, back to the hurry up. Marino throws that low and incomplete. He wanted to stop the clock, and he was about to get hit. And the uh, fact was, and still down. Bruce Smith hitting him from behind just as he was releasing the ball. This is where the Smith and Wright both come from. Oh, Smith. That's about the third time Marino got hit right in the ribs. He wears the rib protection. But that only protects so much. Mm. 14 for 36. That's uh, not Marino-like numbers. Buffalo defense cut. Not even close on that one. And a flag. Irving Fryer with the intended receiver. Smith again may have had a hold. Uncatchable doesn't work in here. Illegal contact foul, number 28, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. It, it wasn't catchable, but that doesn't matter if you've made illegal contact. Correct. Only an interference would that come into play. Once the ball is in the air, there can be no legal contact. So first down for Miami. Again, trying to make the big play, Irving Fryer gets by that one chuck. It's, it's a five-yard chuck rule, and then... He rides him with the right yes. hand, and you can't do that. That's this a year. good call. Buffalo's best owning of the oh. football this year. 33 minutes of this game, they've had the ball. First down, Miami. Down 21 to 3. Out of bounds. It's fire. No catch. And uh, not a clean spiral again by... Dan Marino. Dick, I, I'll tell you again, back to that uh, possession clock. I think it's going to be a while before Buffalo goes back to that hurry up. Kelly is the guy who really likes the hurry up. But I think the head coach has won this argument. Marv Levy has said, I don't care what you like. We're not going to give the uh, other team more opportunities by hurrying up this offense. Go back in the huddle. on a draw and the big pullback to the 28 yard line two yard shy of a first down and the clock runs 535 left in the four All right, one thing about a Don Shula team they are going to try to shove that thing in the end zone no matter what the score is we were not about to give up or give it. They play again in December in South Florida Marino. perfect throw to Friar first down at the 17. Thomas Smith covering there. Now that looks a little more like Dan Marino. 11 yards. It started impressively for Shula. The team took the opening kickoff, marched down, had to settle for a field goal, nothing since. Underneath and a flag down. Oliver Barnett was putting pressure on Marino, and Mark Wright, the referee, threw the yellow. And it'll be holding Miami. On top of everything else, it is an often that you'll, in 32 years of a Shula coach team, well, you'll see his team in double figures in penalties. By our count, that's the 10. Holding number 78, offense. 10-yard penalty, first down. Yeah, there is the tip. And Marino is generally protected well. He's been hit today. Not sacked, but he's been hit today. The usual Miami numbers and penalties this season. 
Only three teams committing fewer penalties than the Dolphins coming into this game. Yeah, well, there's another factor, too. You know, Miami's going to have to change hotel. Shula has a lucky hotel up here. And they, they win one. Oh. Yeah, they won two. We're looking for another hotel next year. But the overall picture is that Buffalo's won 13 of the last 16 against.